y'all hoes ain't in my lead. Bad bitch do what I please. Nigga wanna leave, he can leave. I'd, I'd rather be fuck nigga free. Y'all hoes fuck for the free. You gotta pay a fee for this pee. I'm talking about a fee you can't reach. I'm talking about a fee like big beach. Birthday new set of keys. Now that's big dick in a G. He said he wanna love me for me. I told him fuck love, what a cheese. I put this ass on him, he can't breathe. I put this pussy on him, he can't breathe. Broke boys ain't in my league. Dummy wanna leave, he can't leave. Bye, bye sir. Out of my life, sir. Out of sight, out of mind, take a hike, sir. Kick rock. Fine, you a sick thought. You the runner. Never had a big drop. Let's go. Know the beat afro. You know these niggas love when it's natural. If I back it up, you special. And if I get low, God bless you. Bad chick, yeah. That's me, Chanel bag, yeah, that's me, Chanel shoes, yeah, that's me, account full, yeah, that's me. Your, your boyfriend know I'm his fave, and we don't speak till he get paid. Face beat wig, always laid, all my ex niggas know they played. First strap pick, ain't no trade, I never get cut, this ain't space. Nigga left me, he was brave, a bitch like me unfazed. Fuck it up, sis, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, sis. Fuck it, up. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up, sis. Fuck it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. What a bag at, nigga, throw it up. Throw it up. They, they let a raw bitch in the cane. Ho niggas paint in a chain. Ho ho stay in your lane. You fake like your nigga chain. Nicky ass dope in your face. Pussy tastes like sugar cane. And no, I don't hang with no lane. Now go and fuck it up with no shame. Bad chick, yeah. That's me, Chanel bag, yeah. That's me, Chanel shoes, yeah. That's me, account full, yeah. That's me, fuck it up, bitch. My way, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer. What is going on? It's the Pencil Time coming to y'all with another after show. We talking baddies. Ace, okay? Now I can finally leave me alone. Stop harassing me in the comments about the reason because now I know the reason, which was a lie, okay? The lot of the of the server, ET lied, all right? Speaking of ET, y'all, I'm going to have some stuff to talk about before I start taking calls. So, Tatiki did go live um, as of tonight, and she says that ET did not get jumped. Okay, for what we see so far, she didn't get jumped. This second part of the reunion is actually really, really good. I will say that. We got a good amount of dialogue, and we got a good amount of fighting all in one. And not even that, Nene is a good host. Nene, you could tell, watched the show. She couldn't tell who was who without the wigs on. So that means she don't follow them on Instagram. But she watched the show because she knew certain things as in regards to House A, House B, so on and so forth. So Nene did a whole lot better than I thought she was going to do because I thought she was going to be in the Twilight Zone. Now, she was in the Twilight Zone when the girls was like bumping upside each other's heads because she was just on there like looking. But in regards to like the beefs, she knew what she was really talking about. So, yeah, I will say that. It look like you got jumped. She did not get jumped. Out. We did not be out there jumping. She could have. So, what's she going to do? Nothing. She could have got jumped. But it was no point. No girl couldn't even walk. There's so many clips that he left out. They saved her. And then she tried to go and say Zeus did all of this and, and, did, and edit to her favorite shouty. Zeus show everything, Shawty. In the parts that they didn't show, girl, you will be trying to sue somebody because you look terrible, girl. My whole thing is Zeus. Why are we not seeing everything? Like, what's up with the leaving stuff out? We only get in one show a week regardless. So you would think y'all would put some more footage in so we could get our, our, our buck for our, our buck for our bang. Okay, or, or bang for our butt. I said it backwards. Or bang for our butt. Okay, don't be editing stuff out. We need a Zeus unfiltered, Zeus uncensored. Hey, you gotta wake up every day. 
and see what you did, see what happened to you the rest of your life. And that is the one-on-one on how to stop a bully. That's why I wish some of the baddies, they wouldn't have said so much before the reunion because a lot of them now look like liars. Like, Biggie, you didn't really do your big one. Y'all know I live for bigs, but you didn't do your big one like that. <laughs> like you said you did. Um, uh, E.T., E.T., you lied and said that, you know, Tzatziki was pulling hair. She wasn't pulling hair. Uh, she was pulling you. She wasn't pulling your hair, though. Uh, what else? Anna Mac, she will say she did her big one on Roly. We have yet to see that. Like, it's a lot of the girlies that lied about some of the stuff that happened before, like, before the trailer dropped, okay? I'm just saying. That's why these reunions, it's best to keep high shush. Now, they did drop, well, no, before that. Y'all know the episode tonight, it was revealed as to why, um, you know, E.T. did what she did. Now, this whole stylist thing, I don't believe it for a day of my life. I think she really lied on this man. Um, it just wouldn't make sense to me as to why Nelly would tell him that, and then he would go back and tell her that. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, he did expose her on Instagram and said, at Scarface is a lying dust ball. And I don't know why the F she brought me into this ish. I'm not a cast member and I never tried to be, so why am I in it? You tried to come and do your big one at the reunion. You ran up on Natalie. You used me as your scapegoat. When it was time to talk and the cameras were there, you didn't have ish to say. Take your dusty butt back to not as TV. And he said, now watching Tzatziki toss that dust ball around the stage was satisfying. He said, Rolly called me the day after the reunion to apologize to me for this whole scene. Once again, she realized her friend was a liar. My whole thing was with Rolly, though. Once you kind of peeped his BS, um, peeped her BS, why did you go on the stage and talk about all oh, your messy stylists? Like, it's like she was trying to save face for the girls. But then deep down, she knows E.T. was lying. So it's like, don't do the back and forth. Just like say, hey, like, I don't think she's telling the truth. I don't know why she did this. Like, she looks crazy for doing this, regardless. Okay? I just don't get why she did that. Like, that threw me off, like, a whole lot. And let's talk about the beats, okay? Not Flavor Flav beats. We talking about the Chanel beats. Now, do y'all really think Natalie docked E.T.'s pay for the beats? Now, these are the beats um, in question, okay? It's on my thumbnail if you see the beats. In question, now these boots are worth a whopping one thousand eight hundred, I believe, is seventy five dollars. Okay, so that is what Natalie was talking about would be deducted from ET's pay. I really do think that she would try to do it, but I don't think Lemmy Pepper would let it go through just off the strength of that's ridiculous and chump change to Zeus. So I don't think that she's gonna actually go through with it. I just think she said it to seem more like a boss bitch. That's what it was given to me. Like, she tries to make it seem like, you know, I, I really got that power. But let me, we all know Lemmy Pepper's writing the checks over there. Like, come on now. Like, who we who we really fooling? Okay? Now, I really did drop some shade this uh, earlier today in regards to the whole situation and said, uh, I ain't fake enough. That's why I got no friends. And then said, struggling for the life with me when it comes to uh, Camila. Now, Camila, she did fold you up like a pretzel. <laughs> I felt like I was eating at Annie's, bitch. She folded you up like a chocolate pretzel, a salted pretzel. Just, she, Riley said, she, bitch, it was a wrap. It's okay though, because Camila is a old, is of all age. <laughs> Camila's not a father no more, okay? She worried about her uh adolescent children, she worried about her little kids. So it's like, we're gonna have to let Mila slide on that. Okay. I know whoever made your uh dicky suit was really mad because they put a lot of time into the whole killer cam and you got killed instead of Roly, okay? It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. Now, they did release the teaser for the trailer of um, Baddies Caribbean, the auditions, right? 
we see some of the tussles. Amber, of course, y'all saw in the little vlog you know, with that bad audio. I can't believe I'm so mad about that. Anyways, uh, Amber already said in the little vlog that she got into it with Chanel. Here's the thing with me wanting Amber back. I low-key want her to come back, but then I kind of remember how extra she was sometimes on Joss's Cabaret that I'm kind of like, do I really want her to come back? Because then you don't want her to be annoying throughout the whole entire season and do the most. But then she was funny. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I go back and forth. But the way that she was beating up Chanel, oh my God. <laughs> Chanel, why do you think you stood a chance when it comes to Amber? She literally was pushing Chanel back. At least Chanel tried. Chanel tried. That's the first time we kind of really see Chanel actually try. Now, some of the girlies was fighting the contestants. We see Anna Matt get into it with the contestants. And also, Nat Nat, as you guys can see here, Queen of the Dantar Spice is in shock when Nally swings. Nally, you're going to be fighting till you're about 75 years old with gray pussy hairs. Like, God damn. Like, you're not tired. You don't... You, you're not using Bengay already. Your knees don't cave. Your back don't crack when you get up. Like, she just is going to go at this until she can't no more. Like, you got to respect it. I mean, the hustle is in her. Now, they did also drop the Bad versus Wild. Also, with the Baddies Caribbean uh, auditions, it looks the same. Whole lot of fighting. The stage, though, I will say, whoever does the set designing and stuff, sickening. Sickening. It, it, it was given American Idol. You know, the updated American Idol, the stage with the updated American Idol. It looks like that. The fact that we're able to upgrade that um, location into looking like that is like amazing. Because I'm telling you, without that, it does not look like that. I've seen the inside of it before. It don't look like that. So they did really good with making it look so like bright and professional with the colors and everything like that. So I will say that. Now, this whole um, bad versus wild. <laughs> Y'all see my reaction with, uh, shout out to the liquor lady. Okay, shout out to the liquor lady. There's a YouTuber that went there and also some of my entertainers were in every single episode. At least one was at every single episode. So I kind of know the roundabout as to what's going on and each episode is going to drop. I will say the liquor lady was not lying because some of my entertainers that did went they made sure that their talent, okay, they, liquor shoved down their throat so that way they could hype them up for these games and little stuff that their little activities they're, they're going to end up doing. Now, Bree, why did you let Roly body slam you like that? I know her back is hurting. The way Roly flipped Bree. Is a tragedy. I was shocked when I seen the clip. <laughs> like, damn, she put you on your back. She did you worse than Camila. Okay. Also, if y'all don't know, y'all know how uh Miss uh Tokyo Tony be real active online and be popping her ish. One of my entertainers went, she didn't have that energy on the show. Carlissa punked her. Y'all heard your verse. I'm talking about punked her. Don't let Carlissa little bougie attitude fool you. She was about that action. I'm telling you, my entertainers were there. They told me this verbatim. The membership, check it out too. They were there and they told me that Carlissa was not playing around with Tokyo and Tokyo was a mum's the word. Pussycat. I know, right? I was shocked too, but that's what was said. Okay. Um, and that's about it, you guys. Let me know what y'all think down below about both teasers and what y'all looking forward to, okay? So, y'all, I'm going to start adding my first caller. What's going on? Kima, since you first up, what's up, Kima? Now, first of all, we're going to give it up Yeah. for Nini. Why? Nini did her thing. I don't even think Nini watched the show. I think she either watched you or Janisha had to fit her in. Because she didn't even know E.T. names. She's like, who E.T.? Well, yeah. No, because they had their wigs off. No, remember last? Well, yeah, you're right. That too. She didn't say that. But you but, think she just watched YouTube reviewers and that's uh -huh. actually what's going on? She don't watch this mess. 
she was so confused. The first um part one, she was so confused. Now, what do you think of this whole situation when it comes to the stylist? Do you think ET really on. Uh, lied on this man and just made this whole story up? Because ET lied like on that man, lied on this the the strange biggie man. That man said, I don't even talk to ET. And at that moment, Roly gave him a look like I know and walked away. I believe, <laughs> I believe him. I do too. It just wouldn't make any sense as to if anybody, if she were to set up anybody, I might pay. I feel like she would probably try to set up T. Because you know, T right. has some quick stuff online about her. Not ET. I think yeah, she got the raw T's messed up. That man came out of that dressing room said, with him. He probably said T, and then he, she heard E.T. And then <laughs> next thing you know, she snuck her. He didn't even have time to button up his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and also, when it comes to some of the squabbles tonight, who disappointed you the most? Because we're really looking forward to how be doing their big one, but it looks like Olita Siki won that battle. Okay, first of all, I didn't expect them to do any. I knew Biggie wasn't going to win anything. I expected Camilla Camilla to do more than what she said she done. She said she pulled Rolly around. Rolly just parachuted on you, honey. <laughs> Not parachuted. Camilla, this ain't for you. And and guess what? I get it. I understand you you are has been. You you used to be that girl. Nah, nah. You used to be that fighter. I'm gonna say that. Like that. Killer Kill you used to be that fighter. Been. She's on a whole nother level of maturity now. It this just it's too immature for her. I'm gonna just leave her at that. You think basketball wise would be a good fit? Yeah, she should have did basketball wise. I don't know why she did it. I don't know why she didn't make it on there. But I heard Natalie stopped her long time ago for even doing any type of show. Long time ago, so maybe I that's heard why. It was the baby father. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. Natalie know the baby father because of somebody. That she knows mess with the baby father. I don't know. Right now, I ooh, I, I'm getting updated tea at the moment. Okay, the girlies are leaking each other's number. Woo. Apparently, ET leaked Scotty number, so Scotty leaked ET's number. ET, that baby need. I'm gonna just guess. I'm no psychiatrist. My sister shot her. She a therapist. She said ET has mother issues because that whole you didn't check on me. That comes from separation oh, anxiety. That's Ooh. obsessive, possessive energy because, first of all, girl, how was you going to fly out to Philly? You ain't... You just, you just start paying for wigs. Like, girl, how was you going to get on the East Coast? She had, like, possessive energy. And then you, when Nene hugged her, she needed that hug. Mm. She said, I'm so tired of this. Tired of what, girl? You started this. Now, I, you should be I tired. Should have shared the, the, the thing, but it is what it is. Scotty did it, whatever. I'm not going to show you anymore, but uh, she put the, her number up and she said, ET, you're weird AF. I'm literally enjoying my life and you're dirt, dirt ass, so miserable. Go off. ET Lisa. is. Scotty is an Aspen. Where was she at? Enjoying her birthday. Right. Courtesy of Lemmy Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I caught. Did you catch? Yeah. First of all, I like how Nene held everybody accountable, even Natalie. Yes. Were First you surprised all, at how emotional Natalie got too? Also, after you make that point, she needed to hear this. I was surprised, but she needed to hear this. I was very shocked. Did you catch how she turned when she said, "I have to separate myself from everybody"? She looked directly at Scotty. Yes. Scotty is not Natalie's friend. Scotty. Nelly, it, you know what? The villains, Nelly and Roly, they showed up on top this reunion. Yes. It showed, okay, we do need Roly. Like, we, we didn't think we did. We do need Roly. Because even though Roly plays a villain on the show, she's not stupid. She's right. doing that for a check. She could have easily, easily sided with E.T., but yep. she thought smart. Yep. And she's right. Nobody is afraid because the same thing happened with Slim. Slim, you got mad at Roly for choosing her money over you. Mad because she went on the show and mad because they didn't choose you. So you wanted her to just quit. No. Mm. 
Now, do you think that these boots is getting deducted from that <laughs> check? Because that's <laughs> wild. Absolutely not. Natalie, please. Natalie, please. You know good and well them boots. You just want us to know that those were Chanel boots. No, so Chanel. I, I knew I knew they were Chanel boots when I looked at them. No, for real. I was like, she wanted to know Chanel. So she's like, these Chanel. <laughs> for the girls who don't know, because I knew. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, when it comes to this part of the reunion, some of the dialogue towards the end, of course, had to do with this whole Mariah talking about. Uh, Suki behind her back and wanted to sneak her and everything. Now, the girlies online are saying that Roly lied on Mariah, and the Mariah never said that because Roly went from sneaking to wanting a scene. So, do you think Roly was telling the truth or not? I think Roly was telling the truth. I think she kind of got conflicted with her words, but I think yeah, there was some true. truth to that. I do because Roly didn't have a reason to lie at that point, even though Roly be lying. But that yeah. she lied about that. Um, Biggie right. to, about Biggie wanting to go down on her. That was a lie. Come on now. Yes, I think that was a lie. Yeah. And I think the bite was about was a lie. Why are we not addressing two things at this room, which I'm very confused about? One, the bite. We're not talking about who bit Biggie, and two, you the right. Bite, the guy you, who allegedly hit ET. We didn't talk you about right. that. Yes, but you but know what? I think they're dead. not talking about it because, for one, I think. Well, the bite, forget the bite part. I don't know why they're not talking about the bite. I think the ET lied about the guy part. Production put that bug in ET ear, so they probably don't want to talk about it. Right. Because they know, come on now. Y'all make sense. All right. Any final thoughts? Uh, final thoughts. Pierre, pop yo SH. Stop saying, stop getting on here saying, well, stop, stop getting on here downplaying what you know. We know you know, and we know we know you got inside tea. And people need to stop fronting on you. They just mad because every time you say, "Oh, I heard this," they got to say, "Oh, this is what happened," but they won't never say where it's coming from. Pump <laughs> your stuff. Don't stop saying you got sources because we all know you do. They just mad because they don't. That's I just want to get my sources in trouble. Bye. <laughs> all right, y'all have a good one. All right, you too. Bye. All right, what's going on, Jose? Hey. What's up? Uh, yeah, so I definitely agree with you. This was a very interesting episode. Um, I was rooting for T, but she, uh, yeah. That was very disappointing. T. God. That girl has second thoughts in the middle of a fight. I've never seen it. And it was low-key T who, like, wanted to square up with her, too. Like, yeah, she, like, snuck her. But then Scotty's, like, so chill. Like, I don't think she would have, like, really gotten, like, all pumped up from it. But then T's yes. standing there, like, square up, square up. So I'm like, oh, okay, T's ready. And then she literally ran in the opposite direction. Oh, my gosh. Now, when it comes to this whole... are you, First of all, are you shot at the reason? Because I kept teasing the reason. Are you shot at the reason? Um... Well, no, because we've all heard E.T. lie before. Like, this is literally the slap all over again. This is literally deja vu of the slap. But this time, you could tell she expected Roly to wholeheartedly side with her like she did with the slap. And this time, Roly didn't. Right, because Nat Nat's involved in her checks at stake. Well, I also think the way Roly is because of the slap, I feel like they're not talking about it because it kind of gotten worked out between them behind the scenes. Like, I think it was one of those things where Roly... With E.T. being her friend, she sensed that it was weird. They kind of probably figured out that it was all a lie. But Roly still wanted to be her friend. And now that something is kind of happening like that again, that was kind of Roly's last straw. And that's why they're not cool anymore. Mm. Because you can even see, like, I thought it was a, like, when they spoke about how that's why they fell out, I thought it was a thing where Roly just immediately, like, left her on stage and was, like, mad that she hit no. Natalie. But Roly it really tried to, to give her, yeah, Roly really tried to give her a chance. And she was like, yo, like, you know, I want to hear from your perspective. Why did you do that? What was the reason X, Y, Z? And E.T. was just kind of like word vomiting. It didn't really have an actual answer. And then lied on that man like that, not thinking that Roly was going to confront the man because she wanted the answers. It was just. And what made it worse, I feel like, here's the thing. If you're going to lie, at least try to like make sure your lie like is like, you know, extra believable by at least defending yourself. When the guy said, hey, come out. Uh, yeah. When Rolly said, come out and talk to him, and then she did it, I said, okay, now, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, like, what? 
the guard said she heard you, but she's not coming out. I was like, oh man, here we go. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's like some you say, oh, you stole my twenty dollars, and then they're like, oh, she said you stole twenty dollars. I say that, no, I don't want to talk to you. Like yeah. you just said, I stole your money. Right. It was so. <laughs> Weird. And then just like you said, why would Roly go back on stage and act like the guy still lied? <laughs> like she guessed that like, she acted like the whole thing outside the trailers didn't happen. <laughs> As if we weren't gonna see it. Now, what did you think of uh Camila versus Roly? Now a lot of the girlies will think she fought her they're like a front saw. Well, based on what Camila said, I kind of expected Roly to kind of get the best of her because she did come out and say, I tried to pull Roly on me and Roly fell on top of me. And looking at it, that is what it looks like happened. It's not like yeah. Roly just got on top of her and started tagging her. No, you can tell Camila tried to hit her with like a, she tried to hit her with the same move Tzatziki did to E.T. where she like slung her on the ground, but like yeah. the gravity just kind of brought Roly down on top of her. And not even that, Camila tried to pull that move. Y'all know that move when she came behind Elise at the All Star Battle, and then she she uh she snatched Elise from the back. Yeah, I'm working yep. on that Elise interview. I'm telling y'all, like, sister girl is really having doubts because she's heavily into real estate, <laughs> and she's not trying to bring up the VGC job. <laughs> but trust me, I'm working on it. I'm working on it because y'all haven't heard from her in a minute. <laughs> But yeah, I was rooting for Camila, but I knew it wasn't it wasn't gonna go her way just from what she was saying before the reunion dropped. Right. And okay, so what do you think that Natalie's gonna try to get the price from the boots deducted? From the no, check? only because Natalie's the type to like say those sporadic things when she's mad just to like prove a point. Like with the whole her and Scotty thing where she was like, Oh, no jets, no this and that. Like she kind of just does those empty threats like that. And like you said, I don't think Lemmy would allow it. But like, if she were to do that, she would definitely be in the right. You know what I mean? If she genuinely did do that, because like, I have no idea why ET did that. I think it was just misplaced anger, to be honest. Like, that's definitely what it was. I also think that's kind of why she started trying to attack Mariah Lynn because it seemed kind of random to me that right. she kept trying to sneak Mariah after they all started fighting her. Like, I think she just wanted that one win. You know what I mean? What think, speaking of Mariah, you saw how quick E.T. was to get at Camila, but really didn't try to do that for Mariah. What do you think of that? Well, I honestly think that's because with the Camila thing, she kind of was trying to sneak Roly from behind. I think if it was something like that, Roly would have stood up. But it was also like Roly thought that Mariah was coming at her at first. So she did go to kind of stand up and then she was like, oh, never mind. And they were both face to face. So I think Roly was just like, okay, I'm gonna let them have that. Right. Okay, that makes sense. And then uh, one last thing, do you think uh, Mariah was talking crap about Suki behind her back and saying all the, and she wanted to sneak her or you, you think Roly was lying? To be honest, I think Roly tried to tell Sapphire that she said sneak, but I don't think she said sneak. Because you could tell, like, even when Roly retold the story, nowhere in that story did Mariah ever say she wanted to sneak Suki. I think she was saying messy stuff. I did. I do think she said that she needed more money to fight her because, like, obviously, that's, yeah. But, no, I don't think she ever planned to sneak Suki. I think that she did just want to, like, I think she wanted them to amp her up more to fight her. She wanted them to put a battery in her back to go and confront Suki, and they didn't do that. Right. All right. Any final thoughts? Oh, no, that's about it. All right, Nate. All right, what's going on? Uh, Bia, Bia. Hey, Bookie. Hi, Bookie, what? So, <laughs> this episode was so funny for me. Um, hmm, where do I begin? Starting with the sneak thing, right? Rolly's uh -huh. a liar. Let's just be honest. She's a liar. <laughs> we all know Mariah Lynn never said sneak. No one could confirm the sneak. Mariah Lynn probably 100% did say, oh, I probably am going to fight her if it keep going like that. And can we be mad at her for saying that? Like, if you keep pressing me and bringing me up, I'm going to want to fight you too. But Rosie mm. thought that she was in her production bag and she was hoping that one of them would just pop off once they heard sneak. Any other time, it's, it's receipts, receipts, receipts. No receipts because all Rolly do is lie in the mud like the pig that she is. And I cannot stand it. Enough is enough. If she gets cast in next season, I'm not watching. No, Tino Shane. I don't want to. I'm tired of her. Like, Your wife is honestly, disappointed. 
Like, it's just like, enough is enough. Go take a break with your 27 piece. We are tired. Like, we've seen you enough. You've done enough. Like, you want to call out everybody for saying something, but you ain't call out your best friend for lying on Biggie and saying that some dude hit her outside the club. Where was that information? Where was that conversation since we bring it up everything? Like, right. what do you mean by that? Like, and that's a conversation that needed to be had because in all honesty, things could have really went left from that situation. Like not just for the cast, but for that individual as well. Like people were having a hard time figuring out who he was, but imagine if someone knew immediately like, Oh, that's so-and-so now he's getting touched in the street for something that he didn't even do because right. shark head over here just wants to lie for some sympathy yet again, as if the cameras aren't rolling. And that is why she's one of my least favorite kind of liars. Like I don't mind a chaotic liar, where they just, you know, for the plot. I like but, the Ann Moore. She's not even a liar, <laughs> but she's chaotic. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, it's like, oh, okay, like, girl, you was trying to spice it up. You know, this was a fun lie. You know, a little embellishment, a little extra to the story, a little oomph. But E.T. is one of those liars who is just an agent of chaos. Like, you are just lying to lie. And then the fact that, like, you have all of these cameras and lights that will literally prove you otherwise. And you still are just like, well, you know that it had to be what happened, even though my back was turned. Same with the, with the stylist, we find the stylist. And now all of a sudden you don't have nothing to say, I, girl, nobody. Was and she's anymore. yet at least for remain page has addressed anything dealing with the stylist, which to and me for the proves that she's remain. Exactly. And she won't because fact of the matter is, that she lied rather than just saying like, yo, Natalie, I didn't like the way you handled me or whatever the case may be, which is also not a reason to run down on her. You're trying to throw somebody else into the fire as if that person is not there and won't speak up for themselves. Like that's the kind of liar that I hate because like, are you calling me dumb? Like, that's what I feel like. You don't. Yeah. I just feel like it would have been more believable if you confronted the man. You couldn't even talk exactly. to the man. Exactly. Exactly. But, but you know what? She would have got ready for Phil. So that's why she didn't want to do that. And so I get it. But girl, I don't know. Also, everybody's saying Roly's real. Roly won the reunion. No, she didn't. Because in all honesty, if E.T. was really, really her friend, she would have never pressed E.T. on camera. And that's just the way I feel about it. I will Ooh. defend you in public in front of the cameras. But that would have been outside after the, you know, after the cameras is down and mics are off. That's when I would have pressed you. But I get it. Rolly's trying to secure her baddies bag for next season because exactly. no one else is, is trying to get her some And I get that. But because <laughs> when you look at it, it's like, dang, girl, like you, you potentially screwing it up for the both of us. I understand that. But I don't know. Rolly is no one's friend the same way Natalie is no one's friend. I do think that Anna was also. Mm, I don't know what she was off, but she was off the ish for real. She was bouncing around like Red Bull gave her wings this episode. Shout out to uh, T and Camilla for setting pick and rolls. Camilla didn't pick nor roll after, you know, T said it. I'm so mad she didn't beat up Rowley. I am so, so mad. Like, that was so disappointing to me. Scotty talking about she trying to help Rowley. She smacked the... Mm. Last reunion, Rosie smacked Scotty into next week. There's no way in hell I'm going to be running to defend you when, you when karma comes back around to get you back. Are you kidding me? If Scotty was smart, she would have been sitting on the couch. I'm telling you, like, Scotty Foundation was in the palm of Rolly's hand after the way Rolly did her last reunion, last season. So you out of your mind. Like, also, Tzatziki got good form. I don't... Oh. You know, apparently she said she's never trained, which I don't believe because there's no fucking way she's trained by serious? somebody. Tzatziki is Kung Fu Panda at this point. I was just watching, like, damn girl, stick, stick, move, move. It was, jab, 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 she... it was like the way she would reset after every little couple of three punches. Like, she's telling ET, you can't fight. Like, that was so funny to me. Like, and she peeped it so early. And I'm just like, damn, E.T., like you are getting exactly 
what you wanted. Like this is exactly what you what you asked also, for. Also, I gotta say, with Tasiki, mm -hmm. she gave her, her props too. She said she fragile, you, nigga, but she got mm -hmm. so bitter. <laughs> she do, and she'll try, and that's why Et be like winning in the ways that she win. Because the rest yeah. of them girls wasn't really trying to fight her, respectfully. Everybody talking about, oh, but E.T. didn't do bad for, uh, for fighting all of those people. Nobody else hit her except Tzatziki. Everyone else, she was able to really, like, beam, beam it up. But with Tzatziki, it just wasn't going like that. I also felt like uh, uh, Biggie was the Krishan this, this season for the reunion. And I hate that. I wanted her to put on a muzzle so bad. Like, please shut up. Just... Just shut up. Like, I mm -mm. I know Isaiah be listening to Biggie voice like, damn, I wish I had bass. Like, Biggie sounded like Funk Flex in a booth, the way she was back there just yelling about everything. Like, and I really do feel like Biggie feelings was hurt. She really thought that Natalie was more of a friend to her or she was more of a friend to Natalie than Natalie was to her. Because yeah. for her to be screaming like, I didn't take it personally. But also, I should have been a house A. You should have picked me for house A. You, you're giving pick me. Why are you mad, girl? You want to be in the house with a bunch of girls who don't like you? You want to be courtside with, with, with big Nat Nat? Like, and, and that's the same thing. Like, her and E.T. All the girls want to be courtside. Thanks, and listen, I get it. But at the same time, like, if you ain't, you ain't. Like, what's the issue? Like, I get it. The clout, Natalie's name probably do be opening doors for some of these girls, depending on what type of industry they're really trying to be in. But at the same time, if you got to beg for that, it's not for you. You don't never, listen, my mother always told me, if you ain't invited, you don't ask to go. Period. Exactly. Like, if your name don't come up, then you don't need to be there. Period. And so the way that her ET was mad, like, oh, well, you don't call and check on me. Natalie's like, I don't even have your number. Like, don't you now have Now we need to chuck up on Jacob. So, like, relax. <laughs> okay? We all need to relax. I don't even think she called up about the rumors today. I don't think so, she did either, and I don't blame okay. her. Sometimes the best response is no response. She's like, finalizing the daddy's gas. <laughs> exactly. Like, Natalie's getting to her bat eating wacky steaks on her baddie's jet, okay? Like, Y'all can worry about who coming in and out this cooch, but I'm about to be worried about what that check numbers is looking like. Like, I don't care about none of that. Also, like, E.T., you're mad that you didn't get the baddie treatment, but you're not a baddie. So why would you have it to begin with? I'm sorry. I don't know. I was proud of Janisha, though. Like, wake it up, girl. Talk about it. Because, um, Natalie, you did say that last week. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> She's like, I have the receipts. I said, I'm surprised you should get a bowl like that. I was so happy. I you could now that could have gagged her said, I got the receipts on your husband too. <laughs> I'm telling you, girl, like since we here, because you could tell she was getting a little frustrated because that accent just kept getting thicker and thicker as the <laughs> night went on. And I'm like, ooh, girl, it's we get to that point. We get into that point and I'm here for it because these girls need to like know how to just sit down and shut up for a little bit so that we can like progress through the show. I get it. It's 2 a.m. Y'all want to be done, but how are we going to finish if y'all don't at least shut up? Like, I don't know. Smiley came out in her finest Yummy P collection wig, and I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the bang? <laughs> Listen, first of all, Smiley, I just don't understand why, because at, at worst, Underneath that lime green bob, she would have had what some cornrows and right. her very soft texture. Like, girl, come on. Well, you come don't have on. that. You have no. You skin. acting like you got roly up under there. Like you look like roly underneath the twenty-seven piece. Like, girl, just comb them little straight backs out and call it a day. We ain't trying to. You you doing this for what? And then for her to be sitting on the couch unwrapping her hands while Mariah was speaking, she's a lunatic. Because you're just stupid at this. Unwrapping it will only hurt you more. If anything, you have an advantage because of whatever they use to keep it together. But instead, right. she's over there just unravel unraveling, you know, the, the ace bandage. Because we know there's not a real medic on site. Blood leaking into her lap. And then you want to try to fight? I don't know. I definitely agree with Mariah when she clocked that. You purposely hurt your hand so you ain't have to fight for real, for real. Because that's exactly what it gave. Because why else 
would you do that? I'm trying to understand. Like, I've been very angry before, but never have I been like, let me punch a wall, especially when the girl that I have the beef with is 5'2", 120 tops. Like, if you don't just swing her by her pigtails, girl, and call it a day, like, it's giving and poor me. Mariah, she still went to the floor. <laughs> poor Mariah. Like, girl, you had the upper hand. Use your tins. Kick her in the knee. Do something, Mariah. But, like, come on. You know all she got to do is grab you. It's not giving. I also low-key felt kind of bad for Nat Nat when all of the girlies was coming at her about being unsupportive because, like, I'm not y'all friend for real. <laughs> like, what do y'all Now he's like, I buy them everything. I take the like, court side. What do like, I do? Why, why am I doing this? Like, I am not y'all friend. I am your coworker. Like, and this is why I block my coworkers immediately. Because what it was giving is that y'all are all just stalking the Insta and looking who's next to her. And you're mad. And it never gave that. Also, Roly, I need her to stop with the with the kunchi eating allegations. Literally no one oh. has offered to do it. That is crazy. <laughs> It's like you trying to, go to like you trying to gag us by saying, but you wanted to. No one has said that. If anything, we've all continuously heard from season to season the exact opposite. Biggie right. is telling us all the ways that you stink, and it's not even like a oh, you know, she just wasn't a little fresh that day. Your undercarriage, girly, come on. Girl. <laughs> Biggie said, Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. She got four different smells in there. Like, <laughs> Mimi doesn't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> like, I feel like at this point, Roly probably growing mushrooms under them titties because it's just so moist and damp and dank down there. Like, enough is enough. I know that that BBL ha is the worst ROI. There's no way you spend 50K on that and that's what it's given, Bookie. We need to hit the drawing board again. Please stop flashing us. Enough is enough. We don't want to see it. It smells. Security is like, dang, and she really offered me money for it. Like, come on, girly. We're tired. Other than that, I can't think of any... Oh, NeNe. NeNe did do a good job as a host. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. I she feel did. like she did watch the show low-key. Um, yes, it is kind of hard to recognize, you know, the girlies when they're when their wigs are off. Um, right. All she, she thought that was a homeless person. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> Nini's like, how she get on the stage? I would have been like, who is this white woman on the couch? Like, who is that <laughs> coming out with a, a a sling, an ace bandage, hands still bloody? Like they didn't even stop the bleeding before she went back up on that stage. And that's how we know that Smiley is just insane and she shouldn't be trusted. Also, last thing, E.T. leaking everybody's numbers, you're blackballing yeah. yourself. You're blackballing yourself. I know that like the Now Less TV streets are probably welcoming you back with open arms and a couple of jumps just to like tell you not to try no ish like that again. But any <laughs> opportunity, you know, listen, you know, I ain't gonna get his look back one way or the next. Baby. <laughs> Cash gonna be right there at that contract right. signing, waiting for her. Like, like, you want to be back? Okay, <laughs> welcome back to the streets. But she's definitely blackballing herself because anybody who may have even been interested and wanted to work or partner with her now you're a risk because all it takes is for you to get a little mad when was she leaking numbers on south central baddies or on the or in you now, know the blogs would say she did it in a group chat apparently that's she what uh, the blog users are saying i'm pulling it right now they're saying she did it in a group chat is y'all here leak is she leaked nat nat's number now that's why i'm wild. telling you now, now i gotta I'm call you charges me. Doxing is a federal crime, and I know you ain't got no money, but your kids ain't gonna have none either. You're gonna be that little gutter snipe that T was calling you bottom feeder when I'm done with you. Because what are you doing? All it takes is for you to get your, you know, to get turned every way but loose, and now you want to leak everybody's phone numbers. Okay, girly, they're gonna be outside that motel that you stay in. But other than that, um, everybody liked the video. I'm gonna be in the comments, so y'all better keep it cute tonight. Period. And have a good night, friend. <laughs> Her name. <laughs> What's up, uh, Asha?
Uh, not ready. All right, what is going on? Uh, my lemon pepper stumpers. Hey, boo. How you oh, been, Pierre? Like. <laughs> I'm good. As you can hear, I sound so much better. Right, right, right. <laughs> We're back. No more COVID. <laughs> but no. Did you see Sky on the pile of people? Yes. A lot of people are saying Sky was jumping in. I don't think she was jumping in. She was I don't think make... she was. Yeah. She was too high to really contain herself. I think she just she didn't know where she was because her exactly. ass crack was up in the sky. I didn't know what was going on. Like, why is Sky on these pile of people? Because then... we just see her dive in and like she planked into the into yes, the like she just appeared, <laughs> like a non playable character. Like, where'd you come from? Miss NBC is just out here, just walling. But did you see when Lemmy Pepper was trying to stop Scotty from fighting? Yes, they blurred his face out though, even though the blur is so we hideous. know his odd shaped head, it looked like a microphone. I was just like, Why the bookie? Why is he out here trying to save his boo? You should have been over there consulting Janisha, but you out here fooling with um Scotty. That's why everybody's mad with Scotty because you're giving her parental treatment and you shouldn't. If she's mm. your side pit the piece, let her play her role. Let her get beat up like she normally do. Just he he does too much. And I think that's what ruins it for everybody else. That's why Natalie fell away. That's why Janisha accent keep on getting thicker. It's it's a problem. You're showing too much love and support for the side piece. But Scotty, teach us your ways. I mean, some of us are still struggling. We need help. Camilla. Mm -hmm. Camilla. But a lot of us could use a CEO or an executive. Right, the pay <laughs> and We don't want to hustle like Anna did. because All I need is one opportunity, God damn it! Right, you know, like I want the soft girl life. <laughs> Camilla says, we all know Roly's too big. She's her own planet. You thought you could get in orbit with that hoe, and you got twisted all around and thrown to the ground. I, you, You're not Tisiki. You couldn't, that's a big girl. And the fact that she tried to throw her down, that that's, no. Camilla, no. Just She just what went outside. What would have been the right move, though, to do that? Cause it's kick like, her in, the, in them bad knees. Her you legs think she could have like kicked kick her in the knees and try to get her down? Yeah, she should have kicked her in them legs. Stand them. She looks like a kickstand. Kicked them in the knees, should have rolled right down. You'd have been good. Because when I watched it, I slowed it down. She wasn't even punching Camilla in the face. She was like punching her in her um kangaroo pouch. I didn't know. It was just like, what? A mess. Oh, she, she was just like pounding, trying to get her skinny, like go back. In. I don't know what was going she on. She was trying to get rid of the pouch. Yes. Like, it, I'm telling you, if you watch it from the aerial view, she's punching her in the stomach. She's not even hitting her in the face. No, that's wild. <laughs> A mess. <laughs> but I want to know, Mariah, mm -hmm. give us the deets on the security guard. Did you see the guy with the chain? Yes. I was like, who's he? Mr. Security Guard, call me. They have some new people. No, uh, no. It's no. nowhere to be found. I don't know if he went to another network or not, but we don't see him at all. You okay. said which one? Security Bay. Okay, well, well, they the got story. a new one, go and back. I want the one with the chain, okay? I want him. him now, what do you think of this whole stylist situation? Do you feel like E.T. lied on this man? I think she did, because she didn't even want to come out and face it, and it's just like... Why are you bringing this man into this? I hate that a lot of times when we as women get into scrabbles, we always want to go after our, like our friend, our good Judy, our good gay friend. He didn't, some of them are messy and, and it is true. Everybody can be messy in their own time, but that dude didn't seem like, he, he didn't even know what the hell was going on. He was right. trying to walk off, ease into the darkness of the night. And Broly was like, uh-uh, you stay right here. We need to question you. And then right. he turned in I really wish she came up out that trailer because that would have showed us who's really lying. Exactly. Sure. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking when she came out on stage, it, it they must have chopped that up some way where she went back and was like, well, you won't even come out and confront him. Because it just right. didn't, it didn't play out well. So I'm like, so you don't want to confront this girl and then you went back on stage and told him it was him when you really don't know if it's him or not? Right. Something about that was real chopped and screwed. They didn't like it. Run it up. We just Mariah, just just stick to being a hoe. Just go back to your old. That ways. was once upon a time. Her. Fighting is not her thing, but she will stand up, and I'm glad she does that. I don't know why you just just kick the fair one like everybody else does. If you wanted to fight ET, ET, I would have fight you now. That would have been better than you trying to do whatever Mariah was trying to do. 
was Mar- was Anna on Powder Donuts? Her and Biggie? Because I think were the no, I think it was just Anna Mac. I think Anna Mac had a lot of Powder Donut. You think she she got ADD, ADHD, something like that? She looked touch of the day. It was a, it was a mix oh. of that and the Powder Donuts, in my opinion. Yes, because it was too. It was like even when they had got it all like chill, and and um, Natalie was talking about how she felt. Natalie was pissed about being attacked. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've never seen Natalie so quiet at a reunion. That was a first. Usually Is she's yelling, doing Natalie, the most. Or was that knock you out the chair, Natalie? Because I, I, I think if she really wanted to wear rock that pink wig, and it was just like she really oh. wanted to be cute, and they knocked the rhinestones <laughs> right out the side. <laughs> like you couldn't even put it back on. I just, just Natalie. Like, Damn it. <laughs> Her boots were scuffed. She just didn't know what to do. But the fact that she was <laughs> say these boots was 5K, girl, girl. I checked on the Chanel website. It's it's near $2,000. So who's like telling the truth, Natalie? You know, if, you, if she stepped on your pedicure and that's why you wanted the extra four, just say that. Right. Don't just don't try to play us because we will search you up and know that that's not how much the truth was. <laughs> that was ugly as hell anyway, and she did not get that um that fee comp. She tried it. She was really mad about the boots though. Like that that that, that made her day. She was horrible. salty the whole night for the most part. She was mums the word after getting knocked out that chair. Like girl. Someone I, said the boots, the wig, the legs in the air, everything went wrong. She won it all. That's why that's where that 5k came from. That wig. Her pain is suffering. Her chiropractor. Everybody's getting paid. But I need Roly and Biggie. Just get a room. Just get a room. Hash it out. Pull out a rose. Get some Taylor Port. Do something. But shut the hell up. I'm tired. I felt like Nene. Nene like I know Nene had to be like, why have I fallen down the stairs of life? Here you got me talking about kind of linguist combos and titty sweat. It was a mess. Like I would never. <laughs> I would never go to Nene and be talking about coochie eating. I'm sorry. I was just like, poor Nene. But she do look like she give good hugs. I needed one of those. Yeah. That, okay, <laughs> the things with Nene, what do you think of her as a host? Nene did really well. Really, really good. She do better than them uh, fools on Now That's TV. At least she got convo. Like, she sat down. She tried to soothe people. She was hugging people. Like, Nene just gave me the energy like she could be your friend, but she could also read you too. She like that auntie that tell you the truth. Cause I ain't gonna call her a grandma. Cause then everybody on the stage old enough. She to says she calls herself a glamma. And I will ret- I will take that. I feel like the persona of Nene versus who Nene really is. We got to see a little bit of that, and that's why people still go out for her. We still go up for her, just like um, New York. Like Nene is our aunt. She's our grandmother for the young ones. She's somebody that's familiar to us because we got a family member like Nene, the the right. ghetto bougie aunt that try to act like she more than she is. But I think she did a great job. I wouldn't mind seeing her again. And Thanks. Lemmy must have a cute coin because she keep. On popping up, so oh, yeah, and she's oh, don't they, no. they just say Nene she asked for a huge coin after that reunion? She said, hey, Nah, they was out here busting each other upside the head. Now, nah, I'm gonna need a little bit more millies, but she came though. And see, that's yeah. the thing like, I'm I like when celebrities don't act like they above, like when Trina was on, right. Trina gave me energy, like she really didn't want to be there, and she thinks she the basset bat, the baddest basset hound, and nobody cares. Nobody cares about that. But um, yeah, Camilla went home to go take care of her babies. Uh, you, you might as well have stayed and just got your fair one back because you ended up looking a fool. And she's still trolling you. Rolly's still trolling um Camilla, ain't she? So yeah, Camilla, you should have just stayed and fought a fair one. Um, mm-hmm. poor, I wanted to be sky in the backstage smoking my blunt. Like it was just so. I'm telling y'all, Sky is the ultimate finesse of Zeus this season. Yo, didn't have to fly, jumped in a pile, got had her butt crack out for everybody to kiss. <laughs> she she just this is how y'all need to play the long game and not the short game. You don't even got to fight, just come and collect a check and go home. Go like home. Uh-uh. that's exactly what she did. Then I met ET, mess up the perks. Why you go fight Natalie now? Can't nobody else sit courtside. She done ruined it for everybody. So, because when I, Natalie... You know what? Like, I don't think Natalie's going to hold up to that 
deal that she's saying that oh she's not gonna let any of the baddies uh be able to uh, she gets you know, hang out. I don't think so. To me, Natalie gets off on it just as well as she does everything else in life. It's like Natalie has a huge ego, and I'm not mad. I would be her friend too. Like that's what I'm wondering if why the girls, the girlies stick around because the perks is just really well. If she really is spending a hundred k, I want to go to the restaurant too. I want filet mignon. I want, I want some Chanel boots too. <laughs> huh? I said, I want some Chanel boots too. Exactly. I want them to be trampled on and replaced, like something. But other than that, E.T. says every time Tesseki came for just just go back to fighting Brie. Go back to fighting now that's TV people because you didn't want nothing with, with Krishan's sister. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, just mm -mm. now. I okay, I'll I, ask this. Y'all know how they do the boxing matches on that TV. Who will mm -hmm. win with those if they did a Boxing match, meaning gloves. Tessiki and um and ET. Yes. ET, just sit it out. Just you just think uh, Tessiki would still win with gloves? Do you see how how um Tommy got beat the hell up? That's gonna be ET. Like I feel like either a she's gonna lose on purpose or she's really gonna fight and like tire herself out and have to bite her ear off like um like Mike Tyson had to do. She's going to bite an ear, like, to save face. But, yeah, Tasiki's definitely taking that one home. Um, I'm trying to think, like, I'm I'm tired of everybody lying. I I, I need the lies to stop because the camera's going to show that you're lying. I don't know why what's name came out looking like Abby Miller. <laughs> to me, you, you have too many aliases, Smiley, for you to have that shabby ass wig, excuse me, that shabby wig that she had on and looked like it was giving, it was giving, what's that dog, them hairy dogs that look, it just was a mess. I know like, exactly which one you're talking about. You got about. your own hair, Smiley. I'm, I do not, you don't got Negro naps. You don't got kinky curlies. Why are you playing on our face like that with that nappy ass wig? Like, girl. She needed to get beat up just because I don't understand why she keeps on trying. Why these girls keep on trying to fight Mariah Lynn? You know she's like she's small. That's not big fish. Leave that girl alone. Um, I'm trying Any to final think. My final thought is y'all better like, comment, and subscribe. You better make sure you tell your friends. And <laughs> you better Mariah. continue to be members. We love you, Pierre. Friday. Night. <laughs> The breed is a rat terrier. That is true. That is the breed. Okay. I'm just surprised about the Natalie leak because I feel like that's a little bit too far. Like, damn, you already snuck her and I you had a leaked her number. Like, sheesh. What's going on, Karina? Yay! What's up? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I've been trying to come on, but I keep falling asleep. Mm -hmm. But um I, I remember say, you I the last couple of times I clicked you, you. All I heard was a snore. <sighs> uh huh. Because I be falling asleep. Like I'm like an old lady at heart. I'm I'm, I'm only like 33, but I be out by nine or eight, but eight or nine. But um, about the show, mm -hmm. I kind of felt bad of um, I kind of felt bad about Natalie Nunn about Nat mm -hmm. Nat, but then again, it's like. I, I think it's her karma her. for this season. No shade. Yeah, like she kind of. No, I don't agree with ET. Mm -hmm. Say that again. I said I don't agree with how ET went about it because you lied on somebody who you know didn't say that. But I feel like it's a little bit of karma for Natalie. Exactly, exactly. Like, and it's crazy because like ET be lying and so does Voldy, and it's like so funny that Voldy be like, "I hate liars," but she's the main liar. Like. I don't get it. Um, now, what do you think of uh, the whole situation in regards uh, to the actual uh, lying situation? Do you think that maybe somebody, because this is what somebody told, I think they either called in or said this. They said that maybe somebody from Now That's TV said, hey, they're not going to come let you come back on Zeus. The only way you'll be able to come back is if you pop Nat Nat. That that pop that's probably what happened, but I really don't think that I really don't think that anybody told ET anything. Like I just felt like 
she was looking for a reason and because she knew that she was going to get jumped or whatever but she was looking for like the easier target which was natalie because everybody already um don't like natalie as it is so she probably was like well i'm gonna just go for natalie and do my big one because i'm not even coming back on anyway right now, what'd you think of uh, Anna Mac and uh, Biggie throughout this reunion? We saw a lot of them were trying to get active uh, with uh, Roly. Anna Mac, I feel like she was like everybody said she was on some um, pot of donuts. But um, Biggie, I'm glad that Biggie stood up for herself, even though Biggie don't got no hands, and <laughs> she was getting she was getting her butt whooped. But nonetheless, she still stood up for herself, and she's still like. She still said what she had to say um, and meant it. Um, but I just felt like House B should have like stood on business more instead of just sitting back and letting like Biggie get bullied and things like that. Right. Because she did say in this room she wanted to be in House A. And Animax said, no, nah, House B, you know, is what kind of made you. I don't agree with that. I feel like had Biggie not been in any house, she would have been able to stand on her own. Because she already did anyway. Exactly, and I ain't like how Biggie was kind of begging to uh to be in House A. I'm not about to beg for nothing. Like my mama taught me, um, that like I I got too much pride. Like if hey. if I don't like if if a person don't give me like a personal invite to something, I'm not coming. I'm not coming to them. Yeah, so I'm definitely not gonna be begging to be in nobody's house. Like, are you are you dumb? Like, no. <laughs> and then that what do you think of P versus Scotty? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I was rooting for T. Like I really was rooting for her. I'm like, you did all of that just to get Molly Wap by Scotty. Like Scotty was like really knocking the Mario coins out of T head. And I'm like, and then how you gonna run mid fight? You like you gonna change your mind? Like ooh, I changed my mind. <laughs> if you look at the scene, the security guard was like, "Wait, what are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> like even if the, even the security guard was confused because I I was like, "Wait, wait, never in my thirty three years of living have I seen that." <laughs> somebody, I remember somebody else did that on another show, bro. Comment down below if y'all remember. It, I don't. I think it was like a love hip hop or something where like. They they hit somebody and ran, but the person that they hit reflexes was so fast that they started hitting them back as they were running. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which show because I can't think of it right now. I forgot the show too, but but Mariah, I mean Mariah also mm -hmm. Mariah, um, she, even though she's little, like she she doesn't she doesn't back down for nobody, and I, I respect that. But I just yeah. didn't like like Smiley. Like she ain't had no energy for the other girls. But you want to have the energy for like the smallest, the smallest one in the group. Like, and I kind of, in a way, like I kind of relate to Mariah because like when I was in high school, like I was tiny like Mariah, and people used to pick on me because I was like the smallest in my group. Yes. <laughs> so I'm like, and I always was like a firecracker. Like just because I'm small, that don't mean nothing. Now, do you feel like Mariah was lying about the whole uh, situation in regards to the whole Suki thing, or you think Suki, or, or you think Rolly was lying? I don't think Mariah was lying. I think Rolly was lying, to be honest with you. And or I actually think that um, Sapphire was lying because she wanted to, because she didn't want to actually go toe to toe at that time with uh, with ET. So again, she tried to pick the the easier target which was mariah and right. and she kind of lied to suki to to have a reason to to pick on mariah but i don't like i believe mariah right like with that whole chain incident and i'm so tired of the chain they need to get i swear to god like they need to they need to cut the chain a check because like it don't make no sense and now they're all live uh, laughing about it. Like, oh, yeah, I found the show that I was referring to. Uh, <laughs> the show? This is a throwback, y'all. Y'all wearing diapers. Yeah, you're a skank. You're a whole good piece of shit. She ran after it. Like, how you gonna run 
and then you go run to the bar. That's the show. Yo, that was my advice. <laughs> gotta be quicker than that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that was the show. Thank you, whoever in the comments. Also, um, uh, how what do you think of Nini as a host? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love Nene, but I don't know because she wasn't she wasn't biased, but she did tell the um she did tell the girls um about herself but uh, about themselves, yeah. but but Biggie she, she was just talking too much and I yes. was, and I, felt I like, like Biggie but she was doing way too much yes and I felt like Nene wanted to say that but then again Nene was like kind of like not in her element so right. she was like. I'm going to just play it cool and I'm going to just sit here and be cute because I don't know what's being going to tap my head or whatever. So, but yeah, but Nene didn't do so bad though because like at least this time they had that, um, dialogue and they got their fight in and stuff, but at least they was able to talk it out and Nene kind of gather up the girls. Right. So That is true. And like, another one before you go, mm -hmm. this one right here. <laughs> you know, Carly Ray. He joins the collection of of a uh, hit and run. We gonna call it a no. hit and run. <laughs> Thank you for calling me. Like you welcome and run them, and I don't need y'all to run them. Um, lights up and comment and subscribe. Period. Day. Good night. Okay, T did us a hit and run with no car. Okay, so Michelle hit that like button now. Are you jealous? It's MBS. You was jealous. That's jealousy. That's hate. That's ugliness, bitch. Okay. What's up? A, -A battery. <laughs> Triple A battery. Triple A battery. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like it because you have a, a difference of opinion as from most of the entertainers. Oh yes, yes. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, you remember me. You remember yes, I said I didn't I like do. the piano, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So um, let me just get straight into it. Hope y'all having a good day. Anyways, I'm up now. Like everybody was talking about sleep last time. I'm up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but Tasiki either talk or shine had a fight or rock watched a fight. Cause Tasiki got hands to me. Like I feel like just cause you got a bruise on you, just cause she got like a, a busted lip, don't mean she lost the fight. Like she got hands. She she ate that shit. Mm. Et et et. She was trying, but it, it, it was given no. It was given. Now what do you think of if they were to do an actual boxing match with gloves? Tasiki. Okay. Tzatziki. I'm, the only I'm sorry. reason why I asked is because y'all remember when they did the, I don't know if it was not a TV, but when they did the actual boxing match between E.T. and Naj, I thought Naj was going to take that W and she proved me wrong. Um, well, I, I mean, that's a, that's a sport though, but mm -hmm. uh, I just, I just feel like the way she was fighting, she was fighting like she was in the ring. Like right. she was fighting like she was in the ring. She was bag and bag, hitting her in the face, all type of stuff. So I'm like, okay, okay, yeah. I want to fight like Tasiki. <laughs> she really needs to like take that and run with it and start like boxing classes or like yeah. do something with that because I'm telling you, she would make so much money from that. She was throwing them hands. I'm like, okay. I, I wish ET would have just gave up, but but she didn't. It's okay. She got pride, so I get it. Whatever. Right. Uh, I feel like Anna Mac like. Anna Mac could have got up with Roly. Like, I feel like just because she's skinny don't mean she don't know how to fight. Like, I feel like Anna Mac know how to fight. I feel like Roly was kind of kind of hesitant to kind of run up on uh, Anna Mac. She did, Ooh. but when she saw, like, Anna Mac kind of clock her a little bit on the side, she kind of, you know, held back it's a little practice. bit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Biggie, she she do not live up to her name. She do not live up to her name. What are we gonna call her? Little. <laughs> she needs to be called a little bit or something like that. Little bit. The girl, the girl just be the girl just be. She was on some high. My name is T type of stuff. Like when she was fighting Rose, she was on that type of game. Like she was running in and running out. <laughs> yeah. Now, how did you feel about T? We just talked about the hit and run. How we feel about the hit and run? You know, I never liked T. 
Oh, no. uh, if I if I didn't say that if I didn't say that before, I'm saying it now. Uh, I never liked tea, so I was glad Scotty beat her up. Uh, ah. Hi, hi, my name is P. No, uh, no, like she ran like a little girl. Like, why would you even try it? So I was glad Scotty got her lit back. Yeah, you know what I think it was too. I think it was like she didn't want Scotty to keep pushing up on her. Like mm -hmm. basically. You know how, like, when you lose in a fight, she didn't want to be seen losing a fight. So, she, like, it's like she ran, so, so she didn't want the fight to continue. You know what I'm saying? Well, she still, she, I thought, like, she is a pretty girl. So, she probably didn't, when she got hit in the face, they probably caught off guard a little bit. You know, she want to keep her face cute. You know, some girls like that. Right. Once they get hit in the face, and, oh, my God, uh -uh, I got a couple of things. I got a couple of things. Right, right. Whatever the case may be. So, I feel like that. That's why I was like, why would she even try it? Like, Scotty wasn't even looking at you. You go hit her from the back. Like, I didn't feel like that was. And that's why she got beat up. Now, Roly and Camila, do you feel like Camila's days of being a bad girl and a baddie are over? Uh, no, I just feel like Camila should have never pulled big, big girls towards her. Like, she should have just kept swinging or something like I feel like that was her downfall when she brought when she brought Roly towards her she tried to pull her towards her instead of pushing her away or something like that I feel like that's when she lost and I feel like just like what you just asked me about um if if T was trying to like you know prevent from losing a fight I feel like Camila pulled that like she didn't want to look like she lost the fight so she left mm. Mm -hmm. Which was, it may be a little bit smart on uh, Camila's end, because you can't really say really like whooped Camila's ASS. Like, you know, like she got the best of her. Right. I feel like she could have won, but she she pulled Roly towards her, and I, I didn't feel like that was a smart move. So that's why Someone, she uh, uh, Somebody's uh, uh, going against your opinion. They said that they edited T's fight because T was talking crap about Lemmy Pepper. Okay, well, I, I'm going to believe what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's that. <laughs> now, uh, what do you think of Nene's hosting? How do you think she did? I like Nene. I feel like she got a little bit of uh, favoritism towards EP a little bit. But, yeah. you know, that that's okay. Like, it's okay, you know, to have a little she favoritism. Probably she's got she's hurt girl inside of her. Yeah, they was all kind of jumping on us. So I probably would have been like Nene, too. Like, you know, all right now, y'all need to calm down. Y'all jumping on the girl, okay? She, she right. ain't done nothing that bad, you know. But um, I also wanted to comment on Natalie, Natalie too. You know, I love Natalie. I've mm -hmm. always liked Natalie. Uh, Natalie always been about the high life to me. Like, I remember when she used to tell Kendra on uh, BGC. Remember uh, Kendra, whatever yes. her name is? She used to tell her, like, you'll get into all the VIPs for free right. if you hang with me. Like, you like Natalie my kiss? To I'm going to show you my kiss. Yeah, like, she used <laughs> Right, and he was known, like he was a celebrity. So Natalie always had connects, like right. She always had connects. The only thing about Natalie that Spiko is she she been trying to beat up. She be trying to beat up her friends. She did the same thing to Kendra. She 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 threw she threw her in the bushes. So some something about that. I don't know what Natalie be on, but that's the only thing that you gotta watch out for her. She be trying. Right, she be trying like to you get too close like to her, she's gonna fight you. Yeah, it's like she she'll spoil you. It's like a mom or something. Like she'll get you what you want, but she feel like she gotta beat you up. Maybe she feel like she own you or something. I don't know. I think right. that's sweet to be doing that for your friends, but don't feel like you own them. Mm. You know, be nice. Right. Now, how do you feel about uh, the whole Mariah situation? Like, do you think Mariah lied about uh, the whole Suki situation? Do you think Roly lied? I feel like Mariah was telling the truth. Um, I don't believe Roly. Roly's so damn loud, so irritating. But um, I, I believe Mariah. I believe that everybody was talking about her. People, and then why are you getting so loud? Like, if you wasn't doing, if you wasn't talking about people behind their back, why do you get so loud to where you feel like you gotta over talk me? Yes, you were talking about her behind her back. Yes, you were. Mm. I feel like she were. I feel like that's probably one of the reasons why they got into a, you know a scuffle. Her and Sukiyana. She probably did have some built up hostility, low key. Right. Now, who won the reunion so part two in your uh, in your opinion? Like, who took the biggest, not fight wise, but just in general? Tosiki. Okay, I would agree. Tosiki sure. and I want to say Smiley should have got her smack 
smack back from uh Biggie. Like she was worried about the wrong stuff. Like Mariah left your chain at home. Why would she bring it to the reunion? Like that's that's like I feel like Smiley, I like her. Like I saw the 20 verses of one rapper with her in there. Yeah. And I thought she was so funny and so cute on there. Like that was cute. I like she that. She is funny. Let me tell y'all something. She is. Let me, <laughs> let me tell y'all something else, Ali. She put a picture of her nigga, and she said, that's my Lemmy Pepper. When I tell you, I screamed. Oh, my God. She said, <laughs> did she say that on that show? Yes. I don't remember. Oh, if wow. you go on her Instagram, I, I don't know if okay. it was either a story oh, post, okay. or I don't know if it's on her, it's on her page. <laughs> but she put that up. When I tell you, I screamed at that post, like, she really yeah, is funny. She is. And she cute, too. Like, you know, she look a little cross-eyed to me, but she still cute. She still a cute. <laughs> Any fun? But, yeah. Like? Um, I want to say, I'm sorry. I want to say, have a great night, Pierre. I'm so glad I'm off. Tomorrow, I'm about to eat me some salmon, some homemade macaroni and cheese, and corn on the cob. So, okay, I'm all about right. to slam, and y'all have a great night. All right, night. I right, make sure y'all please hit that like button, y'all. Rosa, what's the listen? I've been waiting, and <laughs> let's do stuff chronologically because we need to be more organized than the reunion. Okay. Um, first of all, Zeus, you ain't slick. Y'all shady to replay with Mariah saying she's an international superstar. Like, come on now. Come on. Now, do you think Mariah's an international superstar? What do you mean by international? New York. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But okay, after that, first of all, E.T., did you love your fighting skills when you left? Now that's TV. Did you lift that with uh, in the ring after you fought Naj? You out there looking like you want to ride a tiny tricycle and ask me if I want to play a game with your jigsaw looking ass. Come on now. It's embarrassing to say the least. And now it's la da di da di da. Get you back to the street. Okay, back to the street you go. Okay. Now you're you're now a house pad. You're you're a street cat. No, this what way. you you feel like when she left not as TV, she didn't take the yeah the fighting thing. skills. Yeah, she left at home probably with Sapphire with uh after the academy. Mm. Yeah, and second but then maybe you know, she really uh, grew. Um, I don't know, grew to be an idiot. I don't know about that. I, I think that's the only growth. Second, Camila, come on now, you gotta be smarter than that. With your inmate number 79, if you want to speak with me, press 9 looking <laughs> onesies. Uh, we were all rooting for you. Like, we were all rooting for you to for you to be like Madame Zeroni to move the mountain, which is Roly. But apparently you got taken down by gravity. I know it's not your fault <laughs> that uh, you have to fight someone who, will, who needs to take all three seats on the commercial plane. But we just wanted to see more, okay? And also, why did you just leave like that? You look like you left. You got released from the correctional facility. <laughs> Go back to get your leg back and get a forklift. If I were you, I would get a forklift <laughs> to actually fight Rolly, okay? You think she should have stayed and not went home so early? Yeah, I will bust out a little, tr like, a uh, trolley just to be like, let's move. Let's move this. Like one of those ice skating ring. Like when they have like you need to smooth the eyes and one of those. Yeah. We need right. to get one of those for Rolly. Oh, it's and called now, a, it's, I think it's called like a mosey. What is it, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know yeah. what it's actually called. Now on the topic, Rolly, you yeah. pay fifty K for your ass look like burnt banana bread with walnut? They weren't even smooth. Come on now. That fifty K should be a down payment for some lipo. Some laser treatment, Aaron Gentay booking fee, and some baby powder for other people's work. But she got all that except for uh, the Aaron Gentay. She got everything else, like the light pole and stuff. Recently, I don't, I don't know about a baby powder because I, I'm pretty sure she still smelled the same. Mm. But some baby powders, some deodorant, maybe like a little surgery here and there. I don't know for your armpit doesn't smell like wet socks. We don't Do like you believe that. Biggie when she says the four smells? Yeah, uh, oh, four smells, that's very much giving her face. I'm pretty sure there's like 18 smells mixed there. It's like five spice, Chinese five spice powder. It's probably going to have like more than five. Okay. And now, 
Whoever did Nini's makeup, you need to swallow a bottle of setting spray because that pink blush made her look like Annabelle's sister. <laughs> Wait that one shot, that was horrible. The queen is supposed to look like beautiful porcelain doll, not cursed voodoo doll. And that contour part is so gray, it looked like she used charcoal instead of makeup powder. Oh, yeah, I exactly. see what you're saying. <gasps> I didn't even notice that. Oh my oh, god, wow. that one shot when, uh, when her Rosa, and Tanisha let me was you together, NUA. that was horrible. That was horrible. That was a sheen on underneath her cheekbones. That looked like charcoal. That oh. wasn't even contoured. That was oh. not. That was not good. I really didn't even notice that until you said, okay, okay. Oh, oh wow. my god. That, that shot really, really because I was eating dinner, and then I saw that shot, and I was just like, Y'all playing in front of my rotisserie chicken. I don't like that. <laughs> and now so you're a Nini fan. You're a Nini fan. I, I love Nini. I honestly love Nini. Yeah. Uh she deserves so much better. Okay. She did well in the reunion. I love her for that. And yeah. also, Roly making any sexual allegations just makes me think of Ro o OJ pulling the prank on Barbara Water. Like the one that she he was like, he was like pretending to stab her. Like, cause I'd have put my private part in the blender for 30 minutes before I take them seriously. So you don't believe any of the rumors of Biggie wanting uh, some of uh, Rolly's guy? Oh my God, there are, th there, are thir there are 12 other people. I would eat Natalie before I eat Rolly. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's that thing is on the internet. You can still see it. That thing is on the internet, even though it looks a little bit colored, <laughs> but... <laughs> But I would rather do that, and I don't even do uh, like. Come on now, not rolling. No, you have to really like curious. pull apart. Like you pulling, like you have to really like pull pull apart that leg to see what's really in in between that. Now, do you think Mariah is lying about the whole Suki thing? Oh my God! Come on now, no. Like honestly, Ma Mariah really like Mariah. One thing, the only thing I'm. I'm dis like I'm disappointed at Mariah is that why didn't you put the Tims, Queen D's Tims on <laughs> on Smiley's knee? Come on now, you have them Tims on, okay? Even though you're not you're you're uh, you're not a inter um you're not a crot is you're 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 more famous in you're only in New York, well known in New York in other states, I don't know about that, but you should have put your Tims on. Okay, you should put your Tim's on and really just hit the knee, even though it's probably really difficult uh, for uh, Mariah to see Smiley's knee, but like you should hit it there. And right. also, mm -hmm. Natalie, oh my god, you ain't the same that you say you are because, like, if you're really that nice, you should get Scotty paid in cash that Venmo direct deposit instead of infected stinky meat. Okay, come on now, Allegedly. and then uh, the uh, and the extra four k for the boots, it probably goes to Jacob's babysitting <laughs> for a compensation of his time. Come on now. now. Do you think she's really gonna try to get the money from the boots out of easy check? Because that's I crazy. feel like she would try, but I don't know if it's gonna be you know it's gonna it's gonna work in the legal sense because uh I don't think that is a legal practice if you do something like that. Right. And also, those boots are ugly as hell. Okay, I, so ugly. I'm pretty sure that I have the same when I went to my little recital when I was in kindergarten. <laughs> you weren't a fan of the boots at all. That was disgusting. And also, oh mm -hmm. my God, T and Rolly, uh, T and Scotty fighting is giving the wheel on the bus go round and round with the tag your it playground as twirl. Cause why are you dancing waltz when you're supposed to hit each other on the face? I've seen more action between two chicken fighting over a corn on a cob. Okay? And also Biggie, why did you feel like that? <laughs> like why do you feel, why do you drop you funny thought the whole reunion? It's no she she dropped herself like that. It's crazy. Like I would like, honestly even though she's not a fighter, but that drop I give it to her. I need that confidence and the courage. That is crazy to me. And yeah. also finally smiley that new wig is giving is a heart not like any in the attic, okay? And Frank, I thought she was gonna sell me some thin mints with that wig. 
And it sucks because the bob would have been so sickening. I know. And yeah. like, wear your real hair. You are a white woman. Yeah. Wear your real hair. Mariah, Mariah was, well, Mariah's not wearing her real hair, but like, it was close to that. But Smiley, why did you wear? Smiley's, Smiley has like a thick head of hair, so I was just confused as to the wig. Like, we need Smiley to address the wig. Yeah, exactly. It's giving $2 aesthetic, bought from Amazon. Like, come on now. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that, I'm pretty sure Harriet Tubman has a better wig when she was on the underground. I'm pretty sure about that. I'm sorry. Thank you, Rosa, for calling in. <laughs> thank you. Oh, final thoughts. Everybody subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, all right, make sure I hit that like button, please. I'm taking a couple more. Uh, also, Dada CV Lives are going to be tomorrow. Like, I'm not doing them on Sunday no more because I'll be up too late with that. So, yeah. We're going to do it Monday, like, nights. Just how I did last week. So, that's how I'm going to do them, okay? So, no more late Sunday nights when it comes to that. All right, uh, Melissa, what's going on? Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. I didn't think you were going to add me. What's up, Big P? What's up, what's up, what's up? Wait, I can't. You sound a little muffled. Um, um, can you hear me better now? A little better, yeah. Okay, oh, my God. I always watch you. I'm, oh, my God. I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So what's your question Jeremy? for me? I, my yeah. opinion is gonna be different from a lot of people. I got you. So what did you think of the whole uh situation with the stylist thing? Do you think ET lied on the man? Uh, I'm kind of I don't, I don't I don't know if I I'm kind of I'm kind of confused with that one because I believe somebody did tell her that, and then see the type of person I am. Like if I say something, then like. Nine times out of ten, when you say, "Well, this this not happen to me," if somebody tell me something, then they they go back and ask that person, and they be like, "Nah, I ain't say that," and I know you said it, and I have serious anger issues, and that would have made me go off. So I don't, I really don't know. So you think she was you. told that, but in another way? Yeah, yeah, I believe somebody. I believe some somebody. She probably didn't want to say who told her. But why blame him out of everybody? You right, yeah. I I just I I, don't, I really don't know, cause you never know, cause he I don't know what type of person he is to know if he's messy or not. So I ain't gonna just say yeah, I know he said it because I I really don't. It just doesn't make sense to me, cause it's like, why out of everybody would it be you that Natalie would try to do that to? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause it's not like she did anything to Natalie. That's why I don't believe it. <laughs> True. You know what? Somebody probably said that Zeus was gonna set her up, and she probably just took it upon herself since Natalie Lee is, you know, the head leader in charge. Yeah. Yes. So she, yeah. Yeah. I think it probably was something like that. But I do I believe Lemmy Pepper Seppa set her up. No, I see what you're saying. That yeah. that that makes a lot more sense. Uh, and also, what did you think of some of the squabbles tonight? Of course, the C versus ET. We're talking Camila versus Rolly. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. The second got my girl, but for the second to be a boxer, you know, I was expecting like them licks them do because like if I hit somebody here, uh, uh, not is instantly gonna pop up or they're gonna start bleeding. I have never took boxing or anything. So, you know, and then I mean, but she did win. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. You know but you wanted you wanted you you thought it was gonna be better. Yeah, I thought she yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought she was gonna show no just beat how she was talking on that lie. I thought she beat the brakes off of like 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 she had, you know, you see how she got up on Marsh and boop, 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 boop. Right. I thought I was going to see something like that. That's how she said she ate her up. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I will say uh, she, I think, did her big one. But, like, the way that they were, that's why I said I hate how a lot of the girlies were, like, online saying certain stuff. Because then I feel like the fans are disappointed watching it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And, 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 and anime, I'm going to tell you, I I know it's, this would happen last week, but that monkey come in, me being mm -hmm. a black woman, I would have knocked her teeth down her throat if I was on that stage. Even, Even if, if you're a house B. 
I don't care what house I would be in, a monkey. Uh-uh. See, I'm pro black. I love everybody, but I, I don't play, I don't play that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I feel like if that was said at the house, that would have became like a whole storyline too. Oh yeah, 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 it, yeah. Because that was that was unacceptable, and sh and I think she was doing way too much, and not do too much. She won't. She didn't do enough for how she was acting. And Biggie, <gasps> oh my god, she was getting on my nerves. What do you think of the whole thing with the? Because uh, you know, Natalie is you know, she spoils the girls. So Biggie, <laughs> this reunion was begging, not begging, but like saying how Natalie wasn't treating the girls fairly in regard to like the rewards. What you think about that? Man, Biggie made a clown herself like she was just begging to be, oh boy, you ain't treat me like this and this and that. That was, and she supposed to be this big promoter stuff like, and you, you this and that. You supposed to be like, I ain't worried about that. Mm. I mean, to give what, to show you know, that you got more pride. Yeah, I know. I mean, I don't need, look, I'm gonna tell you, I ain't got much. And I tell you, my pride way too high for that. Same. <laughs> yeah. Then, I, I, I wish she didn't go off on that tangent about the uh, taking the girls out and stuff like that. I was like, ooh. That was a little cringe. And Natalie, she was capping a little bit because ain't no way she was spending all that money like that. No, I don't think she was capping about that, though. I will say that. Because I've heard that a lot everywhere. Every huh? week, she was saying she was spending $100,000 every week. I don't know about every week, but yeah, probably no, like so, a few months. Yeah. She, exactly, she over exaggerated it, of course. Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I know she be looking in. Right. She probably does look out a lot. Now, uh, what do you think of Nene as a reunion host? I love me some Nene. <laughs> I love Nene. I think she did pretty well for it to be out of her element like that. And yeah, she did, I, she did a lot better than I thought she was going to do. Yeah, and then another thing I really didn't appreciate. I won't raise in the ghetto or something. I'm telling you what really had me on ET side is because I see how a lot of the girls were putting it out like, oh, she just like she lord and dirt. Oh, so we do an ET stand. So huh? It's your ET stand. Yeah, I like ET. Yeah, yeah. Period. Like Finally, it took about sixteen weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I I do, and, okay. and, and and I could tell that she got a lot of pain in her, and mm -hmm. she's misunderstood. And and I'm gonna be honest with that girl ain't stupid. She knew them half them people were looking down on her like she was less, and yeah. and put like some people got put themselves in that position. If you're around these people and you know, you know what I'm saying, because you you can feel vibes. Right, that's gonna make you act a certain type of way. You know, I just but. Natalie did treat her good. I ain't even gonna flex. She was, you know, she she, yeah. she was treating her good all through the season. But you know, now Natalie, what do you think about the leaking numbers thing? Because I keep seeing, you know, oh, no, no, you don't, you don't do that. That's too much. Now she was wrong. She was totally out of line for that. Because people is crazy, and you know, like no, and then some people can take your number and get information on you. You know, it depends on how smart you is with the technology and stuff. You can't, you can't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, she was totally out of line for that. Mm. Now, any final thoughts? Oh, I love you. Thank you, thank you. Um, I want to know how do I become a member, and I really appreciate you adding me. I love your content. Thank you. Thank I really you. do. <laughs> uh, to become a member, go into any of my videos, and in the bio, you're going to see a link that's going to uh, send you to the membership so you can sign up. And you could do it on your phone, but if it's giving you trouble on your phone, do it on your computer. Okay. You know I got yeah. you a nickname, right? What? Big Peter G. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. No. Right. Uh, what's going on, London? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I just want to say this is my first time doing this ever. Like, but I watch you all the time, and thank I you, just wanted you, to you. like. <laughs> I just want to come on here and give my um my thoughts. So, I really love this reunion. I think. Um, Nini, she did a good job. I feel like 
Janisha needed somebody there with her because Janisha doesn't usually like calm the girls down, but Nene, like after yeah. all the fighting and stuff was done, he was like, okay, calm down, sit down, let her talk, let her right. say this, you know. So I feel like she did really good in that aspect. Right. Now, I know Nene was probably thinking, I wish I could do this on Housewives, because you know Nene <laughs> wanted to snatch up Kenya a time or two, or pop candy up the mouth. <laughs> a couple of reunions, but if they do that, they get fired. <laughs> I feel like it's I feel like with Nene, it was more so a respect thing because, you know, she's older and she's been in the game. And, like, right. you know, like, you could – we watch Nene. Exactly. You know, like, even if it's not on Housewives, it's dude. on something else. You know, like, it's a respect thing. So, of course, we're going to have to get that to her. Right. But, you know, it feels like somebody else – I think else she fighting. should be permanent, in my opinion, because you, that's a good point that you made because she's such a vet in the reality TV game right. that nobody could really say anything to her because it's like she's been on TV for over – like two decades. Right. It would have to be someone like that's just really rowdy that would just like be like, okay, I don't care what Nene has to say. It's whatever. Right. But, you know, I feel like people just like respect her. So. Right. Now, what did you think of uh, the whole stylist situation about the ET thing? Do you feel like ET lied on this man? I feel like she did. I So, okay, I have a theory. Mm -hmm. As to why um, E.T., you know, uh, snuck Natalie. Mm -hmm. It's not a serious theory, but it's just like a joking type of theory. But okay. this is my theory. Okay, so you know how Stunning Girl did that live, right? Yes. The live came out before the reunion. So yeah. you remember how she said that Natalie told her that, you know, Lemmy Pepper would put Scotty on the planes and everything. Right. Um, he thought that he was Scotty's first plane ride but right. in actuality natalie you know was the first one to do that for her so i feel like maybe he got wind of that and then got mad probably didn't want to confront natalie about it but just wanted to do somebody so he probably just like put a bug in somebody's ear or put a bug oh. in like, I'm a new <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you're saying like, let me come for you <laughs> huh you saying Levy Pepper put ET up to it? I, I, I don't know. I just thought about that because I'm like, this would be a funny storyline uh, if this did happen. Because, like, what other reason would she have? Because, and then with the stylist thing, it's like, okay, I thought they were saying that that was um, ET stylist. But when he said Scotty. Oh, ET, like, yeah. And when they said that was, you know, Scotty stylist, I was like, okay, so maybe... Lemmy Pepper just like, I don't like this dude. Like, maybe he's just too messy or something. So just blame it on him. I don't know. Just pick a person. But go and do that for me. So I just feel like, I don't know. That's just my little theory. I can see. Ooh. That, that's an interesting <laughs> one. I believe the Not As TV one. That one, to me, makes a lot more sense. I can see a couple more there be like, hey, pop Natalie. Right. Be right back. <laughs> don't even worry. Okay. Now, what did you think of uh, some of the squabbles of the night? We saw T versus Scotty, and then, of course, Broly versus Camila. Camila tried to take her down. Didn't work. What you think? So, <laughs> we're going to start off with E.T. and Tzatziki. So, E.T. and Tzatziki, I feel like Tzatziki did exactly what I expected her to do. I feel like the first round, e um, Tzatziki was, like, throwing a little slow, but then, like, she just caught up. But um, E.T., Definitely got her tail toe up. I'm so sorry. So, mm. But uh, Camilla and Roly, Camilla, I feel like Camilla should have known better than that. I'm so sorry. Like, because it's a bigger girl. Like, you you pulling her towards you, she's going to fall on you. And with a bigger body girl, you know, not shaming nobody or anything, but they're going to use their weight. And that's exactly what, you know, uh, Roly did. And she mm. was pulling her hair and everything. It don't even look like Camilla got a lick in. So I was kind of, I was really disappointed with that. I was just like, she called. And that sneak preview uh, looked very, uh, you know, com not confusing, but it looked very deceiving. Because all we saw was uh, Camilla with that face pulling really like. Right. Oh, I'm like, thinking, oh, Lord. <laughs> like, I figured those don't get on the ground. But I'm like, okay, if you get on the ground, maybe you can get some licks. And it don't look like she did anything. And I was just like, what are you doing? Yeah. Then she got up. She was like, that's it. That's all I got. Like, what? No. Listen, 
If let me purpose pay me a big check, I get stolen <laughs> by. <laughs> She said, I got stuff. To I'm like, girl, what are you doing? But when she came back and splashed the water, the water mainly got on security back. And I was like, post security. He gonna have to change that shirt. Post security. She should have did better with the water. I would have did Alfredo sauce. Like, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, blended it so it could be extra watery. Right. And then, and then, bow! Pick up where DJ Sky left off. Exactly. Like <laughs> exactly. But um, the fight with T and Scotty, <laughs> T disappointed me because I did um, watch the video when she said she was um, that Zeus edited kind of weird and everything yeah. that she was, you know, doing her thing. And I, I came in with the expectation that she was going to do something, but it really wasn't given. Like the fact that you turned your back and was trying to like, run away from Scotty hitting you. Scotty was like knocking you in the back. So you're going to need to go to the chiropractor. I'm just like, good gosh. Like, po, po T. She tried. Yeah, I can't be saying Scotty don't be throwing them hands now. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, them, them days is over. <laughs> I feel like Scotty going to really do her big one next season. The pressure's on her. She has all these Levy Pepper rumors, Okay. She done got into it with Nat Nat. I don't feel like her and Nat Nat are that close anymore. The pressure going to be on her. I think next season she going to really surprise us. Right. I feel like Scotty really has it in her. She just has to get the, like, the form and everything together. And I just feel like it has to be that right person that just really get it out of her for her to just, like, really go off and really get the swing in. But Scotty has Scotty's been... getting the executive D confident. I can't stand <laughs> <laughs> and uh, final thought: What did uh, what do you think about um, the whole Mariah Lynn situation? Do you feel like Mariah Lynn was lying, or really was? Um, with the whole Mariah Lynn situation, I feel like I don't think she wanted to sneak Suki, but I feel like maybe her words were mixed up and everything because just how she was wording it. But I really wasn't caring too much about that because we had so much going on with Mariah Lynn this whole season with the chain and everything. I'm just like, come on, like, just get to the fights. But I I don't think she would want to sneak Suki, but I do think she was, you know, talking mad crap about Suki. Mm, so. I think so, too. Any final thoughts? Um, Thank you for adding me. All right. No problem. Hey. Someone said, uh, so Scotty's confirmed for Caribbean? Duh. Like, come on now. I don't tell no lies. That's 100% confirmed. Everybody know that. <laughs> That's not even tea. That's piss. <laughs> 100% confirmed. What's up, Jay? Hi, Pierre. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What's up? What's up? What's up? Okay. So I'm going to try to keep it short because I just, mm -hmm. ugh, this reunion was just too much. Okay. Sure. So, Tzatziki, I've never seen somebody just get beat up so bad where, like, the wig is gone, the eyelashes is gone. She was practically naked. I'm just like, dang, like, Tzatziki, like, they just all, like, jumped on her. I don't know if you noticed, like, did you notice that Sky jumped in the fight, too? Like, I don't understand. I don't think she oh. jumped. I, I feel like she was trying to make sure nobody was jumping. But I don't know why she planked down like that. Yeah, that was weird. Like, I don't know if she was trying to break up the fight or she was right. trying to jump in the fight because I don't know. It was it was it was weird. It was weird. But why did Camila do that? Why did like she disappointed me? All this internet talk and them and her and Roly going back and forth just for her to be on the ground and Roly almost killed her with the weight. I was just like, this is madness. Like what I, strategy you feel like she should have used to get Roly down? Swap her feet? What, what, what? I still feel like, remember when last week when I was like, you know, she should have swept her with the feet? She could have yeah. got her with the feet, or she could have, you know, done a little one, two, went behind her. I, I don't know. Roly is so, like I said, Roly is so easy to beat up. So I, I don't, I'm not really understanding. But that mm. fight was funny. It was really funny. Um, The T and Scotty fight was really funny also. The way that Scotty just, like, I don't even know why T even tried to fight that girl. You should have just sat there and just ate your food and just watched every, everybody else go to chaos. Like, literally, Scotty just dumped her and dumped her. I said, you know, damn, damn, T, we was rooting for you. So do you feel, because oh, let's say if next season were to happen and uh, they were end up getting into it again, do you feel like the outcome would be the same? Yes, 
because T cannot fight. Like, T cannot fight, like, at all. Like, I see that she can try, but Scotty kind of got the upper hand, even though Scotty really can't fight either. I don't know. It was just zero on both sides. Um, I don't know if you realize. So when, so you know how when they were, when Natalie was talking about how, oh, she fell away because, you know, um, right. ET ran up on her or whatever, whatever. And then Roly came and tried to like, not justify, but like defend E.T. and also like, yeah, right. I feel like Roly was really trying to save herself. Because she knew that, like, it looked really bad on E.T. Yes. Because it looked like she knew that was going to happen. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't think she knew it was going to happen. But she was just so surprised. Like, why did she do? Like, everyone was confused. So, Rolly was just like, girl, I'm trying to keep my job. So, I'm Natalie. Girl, I didn't do nothing. But, you know, that's whatever she do, that's her. Like, that don't matter. I need my job. And kudos to you. Because, hey, I'm not losing my job over nobody. Right. So, yeah. Um... Oh, and tell me why. Okay, so you know when Natalie also was saying like, oh, you know, I be treating everybody with gifts and stuff like that. I'm like, so you treat everybody with gifts, but what do they be doing in return for you? I know the oh. Dubai trips be, mm, allegedly, the Dubai listen, trips. We need, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. If, let me tell y'all something. This will make me respect Natalie. Like, I'll never say nothing negative about her on my channel if she do this. For Baddies Caribbean, mm -hmm. the last destination, go to Dubai. Period. Okay. So shut, they shut the haters up. <laughs> Everybody always has these things to say about what happens in Dubai, so on and so forth. Go to Dubai with the cameras. And then, yeah. What if they do? You know they're not going to bring the cameras because, you know, they be doing them activities out I'm there. So, mm, we'll see all about that. But, um... And, what do you oh, think about Nini as a host? How do you think she did? Oh, she did so good. She did surprisingly really well than I thought she would have done. Like, she was yeah. really good. Um, she It seemed like she watched before or she kind of knew some of the drama because she was just like, okay, you guys, like, relax. Or, like, she was kind of like a mutual person. Like, she was kind of on – she was, like, mutual for House A and House B because it was like – she was trying to sympathize with Biggie, but at the same time, she was also trying to sympathize with Natalie, so things like that. And Biggie, I get, I understand Biggie's point of view of, like, you know, her feeling away, but at the same time, Natalie is nobody's friend. I don't know how many times we have to prove that Natalie is not friends with none of y'all. Like, it's okay. Biggie said, I'll fuck with you, nigga. He fuck yeah, with you. and her voice is so, do you know her voice is deeper? Like, what's wrong with her? Like, I, I don't know. No, it's because she was yelling, so it got deeper. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. It's so funny. When my mom was watching, she was like, is that a dude? I was like, mom, no. <laughs> no, I promise you she's not a dude. Like, I felt bad because Nene was looking at her like, like, exactly, and and I know Nini wants to be like, can you just like be quiet? But she was like, you know what? Let me just try to you know <laughs> relax and not like do. Best believe y'all. Next reunion, Nini host, she gonna be on their ass because now oh. she's a little comfortable. She a little in now. She with the in crowd. I'm telling y'all. I feel like Nini could have definitely not read them to fill, but she could have really like went in. But I think she's just so past that, that she's just so more calmer now that I noticed about her too. Like she's not the same Nini we knew from the show that she was on. So I don't know. Um, And then the Sapphire, not the Saf Sapphire. Well, Sapphire and Mariah, honestly, for once, Rolly's not lying. I don't think Rolly's lying. The reason why I say that is because Mariah, we know that you don't like Suki. Well, you didn't like Suki. It's okay to be like, you know what? I was there. I was talking about her. I was doing what I was doing. Like everyone, everyone from house A was talking about everyone from house B anyways. So it's just like, just admit it. Like, just be like, you know, I wasn't really feeling Suki. She was coming at me. Da, da, da. But then it's like, she keeps denying it, but then she's like admitting to it. I'm just like, you need to pick a side. Just say you don't like her, whatever. You got beat up either way. So it don't really change the, the outcome of what happened. You got thrashed in the water. So it don't, but I knew that Mariah was lying when Suki was just sitting there laughing. I'm like, yeah, Suki knew. She knew, like, yeah, and things like that. Um, what else? Oh, and what I've noticed also, like, you know how at the end where it, like, cuts to Smiley, like, saying, oh, you know, I want to get my chain. I'm so mm -hmm. tired of the chain thing. It's, like, weird. It like, they cut, like, they edited it really weird. Like, they cut no, it. these were you, both parts were very choppy. You could tell. Yeah, it was, like, really choppy at then. I was just, like. And it's sloppy, like, choppy, too. Whoever's editing, I'm telling y'all, it's, like, they cut it so hard. Yes. I, like, because I'm telling I edit myself, so it's, like, 
if you cut something, don't do it so hard where it's noticeable. It's not a smooth. It trend. was so noticeable. Like it was so noticeable. The I part where they were talking about uh, Nelly hanging out and doing favors with them, that conversation was longer. They cut the ha they cut half of that out. Really? Because they skipped that whole. Yeah. Go wow. back to the part. It cut like right. As they're gonna get more into it, but they're she was like, Oh, let's bring out these girls. Oh, because they probably didn't want them secrets exposed. Those I don't mm. know. Ah. Um, <laughs> also, <laughs> um, yes, just a quick thing. You know, in the last reunion, when you were saying that, or when we were like trying to figure out why the whole conversation with Anna and Scotty were cut out, did you hear that when yeah, Scotty no, was that they were talking about? Like they tried to hide it so bad. That's what but, I you. It was that's why that first part I was saying is very edited. You could tell it was like, so it was edited. Awful. I was like, wow. But final thoughts. This reunion was so good. I was entertained. I was screaming. Um, like and comment, y'all. Pierre, thank you for having me. I love Thanks. you. Night, nice. ladies. Someone says Zeus Bender for editing is Cape Cut at this point. Y'all wrong for the Cape Cut. All right, what's going on, Libra? What's good, to you, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's popping? What you what, what you finna ask though? Because I got a couple of things. I got I got a lot of shit to say. Say it first. Say it first. Yeah, I, I nah, question. I ain't saying shit first, bitch. What you gotta ask? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of the review tonight? I ain't watch it. I ain't want to. You didn't watch the reunion? Nah, I watched the last one. I didn't watch the um the one that just dropped tonight. I didn't watch it. I, I think I, I wanted to wait because I felt like I was just disappointed in the first reunion, to be quite honest. I, I just felt like, girl, like the only bitch that I really feel like was handling her business was Tatiki. That's it. So are you, like, more, are you more team house A or house B? Oh, bitch, B. A house is B. the girls that I want to fuck up. Like, the, those are the girls that I'd be like, yo, let's get them girls. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they coming out, let's get them. Period. Just because uh, I can't ask you too much because you ain't watched the reunion, but uh, when it but comes you can to, ask you whatever because I I can have an opinion on the situation. <laughs> what do you feel like about all the all I hate that ET gets? Do you feel like it's deserved or you feel like they're doing too much? So I feel like ET. I think that it it it's a double edged sword for her though mm -hmm. because like she came from and I don't I don't know if a lot of people watch now that's TV. I know I do. But mm -hmm. I just feel like they a lot of people don't even know where she came from, right? So right. I knew you watched that TV before you even said it. <laughs> she she's she a fighting she, girl. She's a yeah. fighting girl. Like she started the shit. Like she came on there and a fighting girl. Like she fight down. I just felt like when she came to baddies for some reason, I felt like she dumped her her light a little bit. You like, feel like she, she was wasn't being herself. She wasn't like she was trying to be them and not trying to be her. And I feel like has she gone in there like you know what? I I don't know how her and Roly's dynamic kind of go because I feel like they're they know each anymore. other, huh? I said they're not friends anymore. Oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know how like they was friends because I feel like Et Et well Scarface Et how I know her is from now that TV. So I feel like her coming in there. I feel like she, I, I was expecting her to pop it off on anybody who had anything to say. And when she came around, it was just like, I'm kind of nervy. I'm like, girl, what the fuck you scared about? <laughs> what you scared about? I'm sorry. All right. And then also, well, uh, what did you think of uh, when it, her sneaking Natalie? Do you think that she had the right to do that? What do you think? Absolutely. I think that I was like waiting for somebody who had to the balls to do it mm. and it was hard to do it because i feel like everybody like scared of natalie everybody is scared to lose a spot in a situation and what which, which you scared of like girl you just tried me oh okay i got you but do you think like, it's right though what she did because okay. in this episode she lied on scott well not i don't know for sure but i'm pretty sure she did she lied on scott <laughs> Silas. And said that he told her that Nelly was gonna set her up, up at the reunion. I don't care what nobody talking about. If I mm -hmm. felt like you talking crazy and behind the scenes, I'm gonna mm -hmm. trust you when I see you. And that's just that. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not waiting for nobody to tell me nothing. 
and I felt like ET did what she had to do. I didn't really like the Naruto run, but it was just like, <laughs> girl, you did your big one. You did what no other girl is. She got to a bad it. leg, Fred. That's why she run like that. <laughs> right. Um, and the late great words of Cover Girl, the chair. And she ran up on her. She did what she had to do. I felt like she did it. No, everybody else was scared to do what they had to do with her because they scared to lose a spot. Right. Now, who would you bring back for Baddies Caribbean? Because we see the teaser drop and everything. What girlies would you bring back? I would definitely bring back Tasiki, not okay. Tasaki, Tasiki. I would bring okay. back Tasiki. Um, Scotty's boring. Who's she fighting? Nobody. <laughs> she fighting fight Janisha. And if she fighting Janisha, I'm with That's you. what I'm telling y'all. Yeah, if they don't put Janisha on Baddest Caribbean, it's not going to make sense. I'm sorry. Yes. They not going through that because J Janisha getting her coin behind the scenes. And good coin. She's she not... could be a special guest, like Suki, just popping. Tell, but why would she? Because she making money already. She you're like, right, you're right, you're right. bitch, you know what? I'm gonna sit here. Y'all can talk about my man fucking all of y'all. We know that he fucking y'all. I'm fucking him and fucking y'all too. And get paid to do it. And I'm good. Bitch, I'm gonna stay behind the scenes. I ain't fucking up my family situation for y'all. <laughs> bitch, she is not fucking nothing up. So just Gotti to see anybody is else. definitely not somebody I want back. I don't want Roly back. I don't even mm -hmm. want Biggie back. I think like, I like Biggie, but I just feel like, girl, I don't want you coming back and you can't even fight. Like, bro, you literally come in here, you talk a big one, but your hands is giving little ones. Like, it's not giving at all for me. So it's just like, I like so just you. just to I, that's it. E.T. E.T. Okay. Both the, of the reason why I say E.T. is because I feel like even though she was like the most hated the whole time because she was like Rolly's um, cushion. Mm -hmm. She was like who Rolly was sitting on when she needed a little fluff. But I just feel like she really handled business when it's time to stand on business. I, I felt like Roly needed somebody to like ET to be something. You feel like she was getting boring. Okay, those are good. All right, thanks, social call it in. This, no, no, you cussed it too much. Okay, what's up, season three, buddy? I gotta write this up. Listen, I, 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 he was nice, but you gonna have to control that. You can't be having people mess up your point with all that cussing, PM. It's, no, let me tell you how YouTube works. If it's in the beginning, they, they snatch it. If it's towards the end. Oh, it. okay, because I was like cringing the whole time. I was like, no! I shouldn't <laughs> anyway. have said that, but still, but yeah. Hi, boo, how are you? <laughs> Long um, time no see, where you been? Working like a... Uh, I shouldn't be working this hard in February. It's Black History Month. By the way, y'all, you know she worked at the Grammys? I did. I had Let all me the not blow your spot. You. <laughs> I had all the tea for you. I mean... Did it, it wait, was, didn't you see the man get arrested? Yes! I was just gonna say, it was me looking up like, who is it? Oh! Oh! Why are they taking him? What is happening right now? Yeah, it was... It was... It was tea, but... Um, okay, can we talk about this reunion? Because I'm, I, I have unpopular opinions. Okay. So first of all, um, I don't think it was that great. I mean, okay. it was kind of entertaining, but I don't. I think it was way, 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 way too choppy. There was too many things that didn't make sense, you know. Okay. And and I have a theory also on why. Hold on one second. Uh huh. Somebody asking about Nikki. How is she supposed to know about? I'm so award? sorry. I knew my phone was gonna cut out. Sorry. You can hear me again. Okay, yeah. yeah, you go, you go. Okay, so I have a theory on why they didn't show um, Big Biggie uh, slapping um, Scotland uh, because all the people was gonna do was make a bunch of memes about Scotty getting slapped every week. <laughs> Wait. If they would because no, I'm you're like, why right. Didn't why didn't they show it? Because that I would have made the meme. I'd have been like, "Oh, which angle was better, Biggie Slap or, or, or uh, Rolly?" Yeah. 
think that um I don't know. I just this this whole episode it was it was okay and I'm glad to see like you know ET get what was coming to her but at the same mm -hmm. time like also why are we all acting like Natalie didn't Loki deserve that? That's why, like, like I said, I don't like how she went about doing it. Et went about doing it, but I do think it's Natalie's karma. One thousand percent. Because my thing is, Natalie, you, you, have you ever snuck anyone? Let me not get to lying. I don't think she snuck anyone, but my thing is, you're just very sneaky, and I'm glad Tanisha called her. Tanisha was feeling some type of way. Was this the day? Did this reunion come out the day that Stunna said all that stuff? The day. The yes. Okay. This is the day of the of the text being uh exposed. No, this is the day that yeah, when she exposed everything in regards to the text and the yeah STD situation. Okay, because you could just see it on Tanisha's face. She was too through with all of them, and especially Natalie. And when and my thing is like um, Natalie trying to play real like even with Vicky when she was like. I never said, Natalie, you talked about Biggie like a dog. You laughed at her when they were throwing out her stuff instead of being an adult and stopping them from touching her stuff. You yes. did that. That's why I'm glad that, um, that uh, what Janisha called her out, my my Virgin Island sister. Um, but I'm glad she called her out because my thing is you, you sit there and you be doing, you stir the pot, you're so extra about it, and then you never want to reap no consequences. I'm sorry, yeah, she should, maybe she shouldn't have did it the way she should have did it, but at the end of the day, it's the reunion. When else is she gonna do it? And my thing is, y'all, I have been sneaking everybody this whole season. Like, I don't know, I just feel like everybody's sitting here mad. Why you do Natalie that, why you do, why has no, why does Natalie do everybody the way she does? Period. Mm. It's kind of like the Julie treatment, girl. You gonna keep doing all this stuff behind everybody's back, and then somebody's gonna do something jacked up to your face. Right. Now, do you feel like the stylist actually taught her that? No. No, I, I, well, actually, I was thinking about that. I don't think it was, I think it was kind of like the, uh, the Mariah situation. I think he told her something and she ran with it. And I think reading the comments and everything, because I remember seeing a bunch of comments that's like, oh, they're going to get her at the reunion. Da -da -da. Maybe she read a comment that was the wrong thing. But the way the girl lies, it don't seem like, and he was very confused, but the way the girl lies, it's just too much. You never know. Uh, is her name Ooh. even E.T.? You said what? Is her name even E.T.? The way she lies is just out of it's control. It's a nickname. No, I'm I know her name. Through. I'm just saying, like, the okay. way she lies is, like, too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> the girlies know her real name. <laughs> I know her name, but I'm just saying, like, it's just too much. Okay, we can move on from that. So, uh, House B really, 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 really upset me this this reunion. Tzatziki didn't make you happy? No, Tzatziki did and Loki and Mac did. But Biggie, you lost. T, what was that? <laughs> the T thing was too much. I was That's like, going to be a meme. <laughs> it is going to be a meme and um, it is very unfortunate because <gasps> I think if she would have kept turned around, I don't think Scotty would have got her that bad. But girl, you turned around and you didn't even try to run fast. It's just like, I don't, I don't even know. Like, I would love to know, like her. The way, the way she should have ran and did like one of these and ducked. <laughs> so Scotty's hitting air. That's what. That's what I'm saying. Like, at least I don't know. It was that was too much. And then uh, the Camila. I, but here's my thing with um. This is why I'm glad Anna Mac did it like straight up square up with Rolly because. The thing with Rolly is, people, Rolly uses her weight. She uses her weight. That's how she won. That's how why she thought she won the fight with Suki. She uses her weight to mow you down, and then she's swinging on you. So you know what I mean? Like, I think if she would have went head up with Anna, all she had to do was just get, if she can get right up on her, then it's you're just going to lose because she did. You think Anna would have did her big one with Rolly? I think Anna did it the right way. I think she did her big one. You hit her and run, girl. Hit her and run. That's what Tisha did. You hit her and run. Because you can't let, you cannot let, uh, uh, what's it called? You can't let, <laughs> this is so mean. Like, you, no, I'm not even gonna say that. You're not about to cancel me. Never mind. I was gonna uh. say something. But you can't, <laughs> and I'll tell you in the back end, but you can't okay. let, you can't let somebody get up on you like that because once they get the advantage, it's over. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, the girl uses her weight. I mean, whatever. 
But, okay, a couple theories I have. I think Bobby's going to be on the next season of Baddies. Wait a minute. I Not do. as a cast member. I do, 100%. And I think he'll, it'll probably be like where he can't hit nobody. He'll probably just be there to stir up the mess. But they just keep including him, keep showing him. And I think they're just like, the only reason him why it was Bobby was included is because it was in Miami. Why and would he on the Jamaica trip? They needed entertainment. They okay, wanted, oh, better yet, there's another reason why I feel like they had him there. They wanted a homophobic storyline in Jamaica. Not homophobic, meaning like somebody says something disrespectful and the baddies all defend Bobby. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, well, what I'm going to say is I low-key think that and I would love, I would low-key like it if he was on there. I think that'd be fire. Um, but also, they're not going to Dubai. Let me give you the two reasons. One, Natalie ain't going to jail for none of y'all and you're not allowed to fight in Dubai. Exactly. And number two, the ultimate test. <laughs> yeah, number two, Zeus got money, but they ain't flying that whole camera crew out there. Come on now. I mean, I don't know. Cause, but what about on the PJ? I mean, can you fit that whole camera crew on the PJ? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think you're really pushing it. And speaking of that, yo, first of all, not only have people taken the Lemmy Pepper, have you noticed everyone keeps saying Buki Butt now? And I'm pretty sure, didn't she and Bia come up with that? I didn't come up with Buki, but I will say that. I think Bia was, was the first Buki. one to say it. I could be wrong. Bia, Bia. Nah, I didn't come up with it. I will say that. I ain't, I ain't a liar now, but okay. I say it a well, lot. I appreciate you not lying. Let me just result to my <laughs> notes real quick just to make sure there was nothing else. Um, uh, I told you last week that was her cootie cat. I told you that was her cootie cat, and it is because they why well, they blurred out. I still feel like those were new underwear. I feel like you are so nice, but no. Let me tell you, you, because we didn't see no lips. Yes, we did. No, I did it. At least what I see. Okay, don't worry. I'm gonna send you some in the DM. Send me the screenshots because I went back and look. I see no lips. They were they were there, boo boo. They were there with his body, and that and that girl got beat up. She did. I don't know. I just, I mean, I'm interested to see what happens next week. I cannot believe they put that wig on um, Smiley. That was doing, that was just, that would, I, I would love to see that conversation of how that wig got plopped on her head and whose wig it was because that, I, I just don't understand why you would put that on her. But I think that's pretty much it. I also, if you notice, Anna, uh, Anna Mac at one point in the reunion went in the back of Smiley's wig and was brushing it. I saw that. I saw that. Um, and, yeah, I don't know. I just, I thought this reunion was going to be so much better, but I just, I just, th I'm over this season. And I really hope they wait like six months before they do the next ones because. Oh, uh, no, they start filming very soon. I know they're going to start filming, but uh, you know, I'm going to mark my words. They got two good seasons left, if that. Because if they I'm do it like they did like this one. What? Yeah. So how are you gonna I pick the girls? That. Have people... Damn it! <laughs> but how are they gonna pick the girls and have the people vote on the girls when you haven't even showed the the auditions premiere in two weeks? That's exactly why I tell, and, and I, that's why exactly why they be trying to act like they be picking people. But it's already every every single time it every year it comes out. You know, you her big old thing was Anna Mac went to the auditions, but Anna Mac just admitted to us last week that she was already part of the circle of of debauchery. So All it's right. just too much, bro. But you, mm, I'm going to send you a list of who's about to make it. And I, Bobby's going to be on there. We'll see. Okay. And we're doing a cash draft very soon. Okay. All right. Love yeah. you, baby. Bye. All right, Nate. All right. What's going on? Uh, <laughs> I'll kick you off for the bat. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, hold on. Next one's to add. What's up, Gigi? Not ready. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I'll skip that. What's up? Hey, what's going on? What's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I just really wanted to speak on, first of all, I want to say, hey, thank you for adding me. I appreciate you for bringing me on. Okay. But I really want to speak on Nene, okay? I love me some Nene. But why does she wear that lime green? 
Like, she did not need to blind me when I was watching this. I did not want to see that. However, she looked it good, but that makeup was giving me chalk. It was giving chalk. And she's a pretty woman. With all that work she had done, it was no way. She should have been looking like that. No way. No way. And the lime green didn't make it no better. It's like it was fluorescence against the face. I, I, it was not giving. But the other thing I want to also speak on was the Mariah Lynn and Suki yeah. situation. Uh, I know Mariah Lynn was speaking on the fact that she wasn't saying these things as if she didn't want to go against Suki. But at the end of the day, she was a little bit salty about the fact that she called her out at that dinner when she stated that she wanted her and another number of girls to be dismissed. My right. thing is, we didn't see it, but behind the scenes, I'm for sure Mariah Lynn felt like she was an international superstar and she wanted people to view her as such. And how dare you come to me and try to place me as if I'm one of them. Baby, you are one of them. You just she think you're more than you're not. One. And another thing I wanted to speak on was, and I love T. Don't, don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. I love me some T. But like I said before, it was giving homage to Flavor of Love when Pumpkin spat <laughs> on New York. <laughs> and New York Brand. proceeded to snatch her up. That's what T was giving. T was like, wait a minute now. I didn't know you was going to me like that. I guess once she felt that good knuckle, she was like, wait a minute, wait a minute now. I, I got I to call it quits for now for sure. And she was like, I'm good on it, you know. And I can understand that because she's a pretty girl. But then at the end of the day, her mom is a thick black madame. And her mom looks as if she would throw them hands, you know. So I know Nobody her mom even is that. I know T's mom was pissed. <laughs> Man, I know she was because my thing is, I know she was like, girl, now we know we taught you better than that. <laughs> right. You know, and uh, another thing about when Smiley came out, like production, come on now. Why would y'all have that child come out all bruised and battled like that? She done got slapped out of her wig. She done, she done came out there with the Miss Daffire wig on, looking like Miss Zoopty Doo in the corner. I slick felt bad for her. But then at the end of the day, you pop crap. You get pop, popcorn, ba ba ba, or rambox. Okay. I'm just glad the producers that come out there with. Like, y'all gotta really stop setting these some of these people up. Like, just be like, hey, like, you're not gonna come out with that wig. She'd be better off with just a hoodie. I mean, like, come on, or would have did just as good as Natalie. Give me a scully or something, or do like the sicky. Wrap me up, you know, wrap me up. And another yeah, thing I remember on the blog that um E.T. was saying that she got jumped. That's the reason why her face was swollen. No, not in the clip that I seen, boo-boo. I seen Tosiki gave you a one-two piece and a biscuit and gravy and along with macaroni and cheese and some slaw on the side. All that swole face came from strictly Tosiki. And one mm -hmm. thing I will say about Tosiki, she needs to invest in her talent because fighting is a true talent. Ain't no way she can bob and weave and still bust her face up like that. Yeah, no, that's like that's what I was saying. Like, she needs to like do classes or something because that is crazy. That's not easy. And then another thing with um ET when it came to Natalie when she ran up when she ran up on her, mm -hmm. I was like, I think it's a mental thing going on with ET. I think she felt the vibes like all oh, these girls got this going on. You know, I'm from the hood. I'm from. I'm not saying she particularly from the hood. I don't know her like that. But I'm just speaking from what I've seen from now that's TV and being a fan favorite on Zeus, you wasn't necessarily a pick on Zeus. You was strictly what you were, a fan favorite. And they were just trying to see what you was going to give because you are a crossover from now that's TV to Zeus. So they was like, let's see ET because these girls think they that on Zeus, they think they got them hands since Krishan. Let's go ahead and bring ET on her and let, them show, let her show them what they about. Baby, she was sadly mistaken. She got around them it girls or so-called it girls that had a little change more than her. And in the energy, she probably did feel some type of way. And yeah. without it being said, 
it probably was being said without words and she was going out for natalie so she felt like you didn't take me to the basketball games and you didn't do this and you didn't do that no i want the fact that she didn't do that you you felt that vibe when you was in them houses even though you was in the house hey, with those girls you know you felt some type of way but because mm -hmm. they probably was flourishing and doing whatever they was doing that you could not do and you felt in the midst of your soul god dang it them girls probably in the corner talking about me talking about what i can and cannot do you know what i'm saying but that still does not excuse for your childish behavior girl come on now you know you came on there to be fly and try to be it why why turn the turn the wheels like that do you feel like do you want do you, would do would you want her to come back for better caribbean I, she's not she didn't give on she didn't give on being the fan favorite she's not gonna give then because some people feel like biggie got a second chance biggie give me one more chance that et should oh i love too. me some biggie and i'm glad you spoke on biggie 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 my 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 you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying you feel me i felt like in that instance biggie was doing too much because she felt like they were doing too little but she was doing way too much i felt like biggie wanted to resurrect what she had die in the last season you know what i'm saying she was such a lap dog for a tommy or she was going full lap for tommy that she felt like i'm not gonna allow nobody to see me as to be no lap dog i'm not gonna allow nobody to think that i can't think for myself i'm gonna be the first one to buy before i get bit and that's what it was giving and i love biggie and her energy and i i, I applaud her for the fact that she did go in that route but in this reunion baby she was doing way too much for me way too much mm, same she was get, getting really annoying towards the reunion how do you think uh what do you think about the whole uh ending of it when it comes to the mariah thing do you feel like mariah was lying about the whole suki situation i think mariah was just trying to try i think mariah was just trying to tread lightly i think mariah was just really trying to tread lightly because she realized okay i got on zeus i got on here and i thought i was gonna do my big one like i said before she thought everybody was gonna view her like she thought in her head this international superstar and then when suki came on she was like oh i know suki you know what i'm saying we from another network we gonna click we gonna do this we gonna do that so but at the end of the day when she started seeing people start and pick her for what she was no no it's not giving baby you 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 really thought it was gonna go a different route and you tried to go on a bad wagon on certain different occasions you thought was gonna work for you and when you seen it wasn't gonna work then you tried to go against suki when you thought that they was going against her like i said a lot of things that go on behind the scenes we don't see so they probably was I, no I ain't no problem they pro they was talking crap about Suki you know what I'm saying so for her to save herself she was just only speaking on that on the fact to get the heat off of her from things that she was saying that we didn't see right no I see what you're saying any final thoughts uh just thank you for having me and i can't wait to part three because there will definitely be a part three and on this part three i just really want somebody to uh speak on sky and the smiley situation because my thing is she was really big on speaking about smiley situations when she had that caesar and everything and you were speaking about how much she drank and what she smoked nobody else spoke about it so what did she really smoke what did she really drink who passed her this you spoke on the fact that she don't really drink like that okay she don't really drink like that so what was it with that drink that made her seize you put it on the medication i mean you like a fly on the wall at this at this point boo we really need to know because there's some stuff that you trying to hide and some stuff you're not trying to speak on speak on it boo oh okay thank you for calling in gg <laughs> <laughs> thank you for having me no. all right i'm gonna take one more one more one more one more one more asha what's going on oh my god yes that what's just up, made me so up? happy can you hear me yeah i can hear you okay i was like earlier right when you were talking about oh not here i was like no i'm here i'm here i'm here I can find <laughs> oh yeah i did i did what um, you did tonight's reunion i think that low-key i don't think anything's gonna top batty south and i think that we keep trying to like think that it will and it's just not it's not happening anytime soon and i'm sad about it 
I'm really what sad made about Betty it. Soft so good? Because everybody's always raving about Betty Soft. I think Roly touched on it like one time or not, but it was like in Betty Soft, nobody knew each other. Like it was all like it was real that or no, you said that. I think yeah, you it was said like that. Real strangers. Yeah. Yeah, like it, in and the dynamics were fresh and like all of that sort of stuff. We saw everybody like getting to know everybody. I'm just tired of them bringing back the same girls. Like it's not giving this this cast is not giving these repeats are not giving um i don't even i think though they should give tzatziki a show where she's teaching people how to fight i think that'd be a good idea mm. i was thinking I, that she needs to host her own classes mm -hmm. they could do like a little it could be shorts it doesn't even have to be full episodes just like a little tip a week or something like that like get the girls together why is she doing that um but yeah, I was not too impressed by this reunion. Mm -hmm. I think that one, I think that hmm, let me let me let me put my thoughts together before I fully go in because I want to be very careful with my words. Mm -hmm. Unless they are going to give us the full scope of this Janisha, Lemmy, Scotty, like Natalie yeah, yeah. T. I'm tired of hearing about it. Like I'm really tired of hearing about it. I don't, like And it, it sucks even more for me because I know true tea. So it's kind of like seeing the 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 fakeness of it is irritating as hell to me. I'm like, okay, like Yeah, all you right. could just sense like it just it puts everything like <laughs> a damper on all of it. And then the Anna of it all too. Like Anna was getting on my nerves. I, I liked her in the beginning of the season. I was not feeling her by the end at all. I don't know what that was, that whole bopping around just every time you see her a little pink like little pink with no wig on just like bopping around it's pissing me off um i think that biggie has extended her welcome <laughs> along with et and they should not be brought back like at all because biggie was getting on my nerves i know that a lot of people were saying that but i was just tired of hearing her my mom even came into the room. She was like, is that a man? That gr <laughs> girl earlier. I was saying the other caller said, y'all just start trying, Biggie. I was like, no, she's not. <laughs> like, she's not a man. She's like, you sure? Um, but. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. So she just came in the room because she heard a loud man yelling. <laughs> no, because I was laughing. I was laughing so hard, like, with my full chest. Like, when Biggie and her were going back and forth, she was like, no, I didn't do that. I promised Nini I didn't do that. I was like, like. Like, I was falling out. She came in. She's looking at it. She was like, is that a man? And then she saw Tzatziki and um, Tzatziki and E.T. E. fighting. <laughs> she saw Tzatziki and E.T. fighting. And she was like, ooh, like, I could tell. That was, that hurt. That hurt. Um, E.T. also, I think, has extended her welcome. I know that she's not going to be brought back. But I just, like, I feel sad watching this all go out. And I do think Natalie Loki set her up but not set her up in terms of the reunion. I think- Now do you feel like she lied on that on the stylist? Yes and no. I mean, in the beginning, like when I first watched the episode, I definitely thought like, yeah, I think she's making that up. But then after hearing other callers, it seems like there's a possibility, like something was said, but I don't think that it's exactly like, she probably took it and ran. It was like a little crumb of something and she made it into a bigger deal, but- mm. Is just kind of like the way that I think that she's more mad about how she was portrayed on the show. And mm -hmm. I think that she is blaming Natalie for that. And right. I don't think that she's entirely wrong because they could, I mean, they could have given her more. They're like, like editing is everything and they could have made her look good if they wanted to and they didn't. Right. Now, um, what do you think of uh, everything dealing with uh, the whole Mariah situation? Did, was she talking about Suki or not? Yeah, she definitely was because why would you pull up that picture if you didn't have any animosity? That's not love. Like, <laughs> and I but, feel like everybody forgot about that, but she, yeah. she was the one with the thing right next to Roly talking. And I, I, I kind of feel like a Roly apologist right now, but she was like kind of low key caring. Do we have building. a Roly stand in the building? <laughs> Just for tonight, just for tonight, ah. just a little bit, because I was what she was the only person who was making sense. She the was making person. sense most of the night. I'm gonna give her that. She was, and I, I just follow. I follow what makes sense, but it's basically like that. That was not. That was not some. Oh, you just hurt my feelings with this, and I didn't really like. I, I don't know. I, I'm not here for Mariah. I don't know why she's really on the show to keep it a buck, but 
we got what we got. Mm. And also, what do you think about Nini as a host? Uh, I don't. I feel like she's like like I feel whatever the saying like yesterday's price is not today's price. I feel like tomorrow's price is going down. I, I feel, feel like, like this is gonna devalue the amount that she gets from other jobs. Low key, I'm like, why are you here? Like, you, you're so above this. Why is this happening? And that blush. Oh, I felt so bad for that blush. Oh my gosh. If they had just given her more of like a purpley tone, I don't know. That that blush was way too pink. It was very, but so was Janisha's. Yeah, but Janisha's lighter. It's like us darker girls. Like there's a certain like tone that we have to go for. And especially with the green, it was just all conflicting. I was like, you could have done so much. Whoever did her makeup that day didn't like her. <laughs> Child, her team gonna come for me. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just talk about my makeup. Now, do you think uh, in regards to the whole T versus Scotty situation, do you feel like T is doing too much with that, with uh, the exposing of it all. Because I know you say you're sick of hearing about it. If it's, they don't go tell us the real tea. I mean, I don't, like, yes and no. Because at the same time, like, at this point, I'm nosy and I want to know more. And she's telling us stuff. So, like, I want to hear it. But um, at the same time, it's so key, like, no, you know what? No, I don't think she's doing too much. I don't think she's doing too much. I think that it makes sense. Um, I would air it out too, especially if I was watching the show and seeing the editing and seeing how they were doing me. I'd be like, yo, no, actually, this is what happened. Um, and I also think that Lemmy probably had a hand in that editing because I feel like there was just more to that fight. There's no way Scotty just hit her twice and she ran away. Yes, I do agree with some stuff cut out 100%. It might not have been in just that moment, but just the whole fights and stuff in general, there was some stuff cut out for because. That split between where Biggie hit her and we didn't get to see that, that was weird to me. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, feel like edited, that was something that like, we didn't see. Now that I've heard y'all like talk about the the how it's cut, like the hard cuts, I've been paying more attention to that. And I'm kind of like, wait, like there's a lot of things that we're missing here. And like, oh, oh, Camila, I forgot about Camila. That was something I wanted to say. Yo, that was so sad. She went out so sad. She went out so sad that, like, the BGC title, yo. Y'all gonna have to stop holding these BGC uh, reputations up to these girlies 30 plus, okay? They push, y'all pushing it. I mean, maybe, but it's just only because the way that she talks on Twitter and the way, like, I'll open Twitter and just see Camila saying stuff, and I thought that she could back it up somewhat, and it just didn't seem like it at all. Like, yeah, Roly did fall on top of her. Like, she had it with there. But that fight, like, she lost completely. And then she just had to pack it up and go. Like, that kind of sent me. I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. not here for Camila. I don't think. It's like, it was kind of a wasted spot, her and Sky. It's just kind of like, okay, if y'all are on your, like, mother stuff, like, go be moms. Like, why are you here? Mm, basketball wise. Mm -hmm. I could see that. But honestly, I wish she could have made it onto America's Next Top Model. I think that would have been tea. She did audition. She uh she made it in the little uh, audition rounds. Mm-hmm. The preliminary stages. Like, I see what kind of makeover Tyra would give her. <laughs> Tyra would probably give her a pixie cut. I could see that. Like like Rolly's 27 piece. Yes. <laughs> I could see that hundred percent. Any final thoughts? No, I'm just so happy I finally made it on. I was sitting here doing my work while I'm listening. So I'm happy I made it. Have a great night. All right, you too, night. Mm -hmm. All right, make sure you guys please tune in tomorrow for uh, After Show for NTB. And also, leave your comments down below what y'all thought about the reunion. Do y'all think ET was like about the whole situation? What y'all thought about some of the squabbles tonight? And also, what y'all thought about Nini as a host? Okay, leave your comments down below. And where are we? Ain't no personal thing.